What is next fest? Oh, look at this beautiful artwork. So gorgeous. Um, we have to select an archetype. Oh, this is... Is this like some kind of D&D &D character creation thing? Like, I know nothing, really, about this game other than de it's like detective-y and it's very good and the art is beautiful. That's all I know about this game. Extremely intelligent, very bad with people. Knows interesting facts, comes up with original ideas. Okay, this guy... The, th the thinker... Mm. I don't know. I don't think I really like this description. Being bad with people. Doesn't... Doesn't seem like my kind of character. It's a thing they do in Steam where they put out demos of a bunch of upcoming games. Oh, it has pen and paper RPG vibes. Okay, I've played D&D &D like once. It is not really my thing, but I'm hoping this game will be more of my thing. It will determine the skills you get and how you approach slash solve encounter slash situations. Oh, okay, good to know. Thank you, Rianne Magus. Very psychological, magnetic personality, but unstable. Might begin to lose his mind. What the fudge is wrong with our detective person? <laughs> Extremely physical, interacts with the world through his body, get things, gets things done, but dumb as a rock. Or create your own. Okay, I feel like maybe for our first playthrough... Like for a beginner, I should probably just pick one of these, I'm guessing. Plus Encyclopedia- I don't know what this means. Encyclopedia, Inland, Empire, and Hand-Eye Coordination. These are like skills. Yeah, I see like... Uh, intelligence... Uh, psych psychological? What- I don't know what FYS or MOT means. Okay, all three of these don't really appeal to me. I don't like any of these three. So, I don't know. Let's- let's see what happens if we go to create. Uh, oh, Motorix, Physique, Psyche, Intellect. How smart I am. Okay, I'm gonna try to make our character as similar to myself as I can. Because cause this is, uh, I'm gonna try to just play this as, as myself, as me and my personality would handle things. So I would consider myself fairly intelligent. Uh... <laughs> Thank you, Hoodie. <laughs> also, um, yeah, I don't know what the UI of this game is gonna look like or anything, so I- Like, I'm sorry if my layout and my camera and my chat or whatever is blocking important stuff. I'll- I'll adjust it later. How smart are you? <laughs> I mean, I think I'm pretty smart. I got high 80s, low 90s averages in school. Uh... Sensitivity, how emotionally intelligent you are. Uh, I do think I'm pretty good with the emotional IQ. How strong I am? Not very strong. <laughs> Your senses, how agile. Yeah, I think these are gonna be lower. Cat is important! Very important. My, my beautiful princess kitty gypsy. Here she is. Welcome, J. Still M2. I'm. I'm. This is my first time playing Disc of Elysium. My very first time, so I'm just futzing around with these uh, parameters. Okay, I'll put some more in emotional intelligence. I am. Um, I'm very, very not athletic. Yeah, let's say we're. Uh, yeah, I think physique is gonna be really low. And then I'll max out intelligence. Uh, oh, I have one more point I can spend. 
Okay, let's let's just even it out like this. I think this is pretty good. I just got high in school. <laughs> Joking. Nice to catch this process for once. Oh, okay, I'm glad you're excited, Jay. Still am. I'm excited for this game. I've I've heard it's very very good, but I know basically nothing about it. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm just doing this based on how I evaluate myself, my own personality. I think I'm pretty smart, in, like in terms of like book smarts and emotional IQ. But I suck at sports. I'm like super sedentary and puny and uh agile i do think i i have like a pretty decent reaction time that's why i'm like playing video games all the time i grew up playing a lot of video games so i do think my reaction time is pretty good maybe something like this then we'll just be super bad at physique <laughs> I haven't done actual exercise in a really long time, and I just eat, like, garbage like a goblin. So, like, all my muscles have basically evaporated, and I just sit in my chair all day. Yeah, this is more accurate, I think. Okay, we're gonna go with this. Whoa! What is all this? Oh, this art is beautiful. I love all of the, the little pictures here. This is getting really complicated. I mostly only use Twitch to watch plays of this games of this game these days. Yeah, I figured this is a this was a good game to stream, especially since I've kept myself spoiler free. Okay, so what am I doing here? Signature skills. So I pick one for each category, I'm guessing. Uh raw intellectual power deduce the world. Encyclopedia. What? Oh, I pick one in, in general? Out of everything, I have to pick one? Uh... Oh man, this is a lot to take in. Okay, what is encyclopedia? Call upon your knowledge, produce fascinating trivia. Nope, I'm definitely not that. Rhetoric? The art of persuasion? Nope, I'm not that either. Drama? Play the actor, lie and detect lies. No, I'm terrible at that. I am an awful liar. Terrible at bluffing games. Understand creativity, see art in the world. I don't think I'm that either, despite doing art for a living. <laughs> I'm much more of a technical artist. I don't really see fine art or anything. Reconstruct crime scenes, make laws of physics work for the law. This one seems interesting. I do like investigation and like logic in that, like logicking what happened out of clues and stuff. Sorry, I'm gonna go through every single one of these because this seems really, really important. Charm men and women play the puppet master. Nope, I'm not that. Uh, connect to station 41, understand co cop culture. Definitely not that. Intimidate the public, exert your, assert yourself. Nope, I'm super duper not confident, cannot intimidate anything. Understand others, work your mirror neurons. Okay, empathy I think might be a good one. I think empathy would be more in line. Hunches and gut feelings, dreams and waking life. Nope, definitely not that. Hold yourself together, keep your morale up. Nope, I'm a doomer. Take the blows, don't let the world kill you. Nope. I am a glass, a glass smushy character. Shrug off the pain, they'll have to hurt you more. Pain threshold? No, I don't think so. It depends on the type of pain. But probably not. Uh, flex powerful muscles, enjoy healthy organs. Nope. Go to party planet, love and be loved by drugs. Nope. Raise the hair on your neck, tune into the city. Is this like spider senses? Probably not. Let the body take control, threaten people. Nope. Composure, straighten your back, keep your poker face. Nope, I don't have a poker face. My face contorts to show everything. Master machines, pick locks and pockets. Maybe. Maybe. I do feel like my tiny hands are very dexterous. 
sneak under their noses, stunned with immense panache. Savoir faire. Oh, French. Sneak, so sort of like stealth, I guess? I don't know about that. I've never been in a situation where I needed to stealth. The quickest to react, an untouchable man. This Maybe this one. See, hear, and smell everything. Let no detail go unnoticed. Okay, these might be more... Okay, hand-eye coordination I do think might be one of the best aspects of myself. But it depends on the situation, because like in racket sports, my hand-eye coordination is awful. But like with video games, I think it's pretty good. Uh, maybe interfacing? Because, yeah, like I'm, I'm pretty good with software and I can type at 140 WPM. Humble brag. I am a Doomer hoodie. Full admission. There are definitely standout cool skills that aren't obvious yet. Do you like lore in Psych can produce a lot? What do you mean by lore? Like in the game? Like certainly I do... I can become fascinated with lore, but like... I'm just trying to do this first playthrough, like... Making the character as similar to myself as possible. And I don't- I'm not good at trivia. <laughs> I'm terrible at trivia. I'm like, I've gone to to trivia um, a couple times with co-workers and I'm mostly useless. <laughs> uh, finding out about the world. No, I don't think that sounds like me. Certainly I do like to learn things, but sometimes if it's like too depressing for me, I will stop consuming knowledge. <laughs> Sorry, I have to uh, answer a message real quick. Uh, Sorry, I'm just, uh, checking something. Yeah, my, uh, my personal life stuff is getting a bit busy, so sometimes I just have to answer some urgent messages. Okay, sorry, um... Type skill is impressive, not gonna lie. Thank you, Begumab! I'm proud of it, too. I, I can type very, very fast, I think. <laughs> I love trivia, but I've watched Jeopardy my whole life. Uh, I did five intelligence with Encyc Primaries, tons of reading. I don't really know what that means, J still M2. Primaried. What does primaried mean? Okay, I'm thinking empathy or interfacing. Mm -hmm. I feel like these two are probably the closest to what would be a signature skill for me. I'm trying not to like be too cocky, but I do think people usually say like I'm understanding or I'm nice <laughs> in general. <laughs> Okay, maybe let, let's do empathy then. Let's let's try that. Oh, crowned. Okay. Yeah, this just doesn't sound like me, unfortunately. I I'm very bad at general trivia knowledge. <laughs> and like yeah, certainly I, I have logic and all that stuff, but I do think it's more balanced with empathy.
I have no idea what signature skills or crowning is even going to do, so... Sure, let's, let's do empathy. We're just gonna go with it. Okay, how do I confirm? Confirm. Where... where's the... Start? Oh, okay. No? No. Wait, hold on. Yes. And then... Attempting to roleplay oneself will be interesting. Yeah, I feel like this is just gonna be easiest for me. Uh, given... Oh, I can select this category here. What does that mean? Okay, I, I think I selected it, but how do I confirm? Why is it not letting me select confirm? Oh, oh, I had to push Y. I think? Okay, the game seems to be starting, so I, I guess I pushed the right button. <laughs> uh, begin. Certainly. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Why does an ancient reptilian brain... Ever. Hmm. Never. Ever. Never, ever, ever? Never, ever, ever, baby. Okay, we'll keep on non-existing. No amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained. Ex-wives? I have an ex-wife? This is great. Give me some more. What was that about the ex-something? Yeah, what was that about the ex-something? Limbic <laughs> system? Soaking in some lurid acidic sauce, it's bloated and shameful, a ball of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. The descriptions, the writing in this game is so vivid and explicit, like goodness gracious. Plunge back into the fathomless death? No, I wanted to know about the X something. Yeah, I, I kind of do. I do want to know about the X something. X love. X tenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you've suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay. Sail with me through the abyss of allergic zone. Oh gosh, we're getting too complicated with the words. What does abys abyssopelagic mean? Hold on, I need to Google abyssopelagic. Referring to or occurring in the region of deep water above the floor of the ocean. Wow, that's a really, really complicated adjective. Sorry, I need to respond to this message as well. Uh, Alon Z, never let me go. No, I want to get off now. I like pain. <laughs> And burning light, and wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. Uh, this, this, this doesn't sound right. Okay, okay, let's, let's sail with the ancient reptilian brain. Right. Nothing town to fuck all oh, goodness. Explicit language. A return trip to the silence, please. Let's visit the ancient Zero home. Look, there's- I am tired of being this type of ant- 
Okay, I think they're losing me a bit with this writing. I don't understand what this conversation is about anymore. Okay, I really don't understand these two options, so I'm just gonna pick this one. <laughs> Do you want me to upgrade that to a one-way trip, sir? Don't stop, keep singing. Sing me the song of death. Wait, no, I need to belittle myself instead. I mean... This sounds more Doomerish. The song of death is sweet and endless. But what is this? Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meet around you. A sensation. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert, hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. Huh. You can take it. You're a champion. Wait, what? What just happened? Volition, medium success, you can take it, you're a champion? Mother, help me, there's a head attached to my neck and I'm in it. Stop, I don't want to hear anything more about this sensation. Take me back to the formless, disembodied nothing. No, I am not scared, I am a champion. Okay, I really have no idea what the heck is going on. Okay, this is- we're, we're like interacting with this sensation the ancient reptilian brain speaks of. Your conscience sticks to it. Okay, maybe we just go with it. No, I am not scared. I am a champion. The stench of liquor rises from your mouth. I'm oh no, I'm an alcoholic. An ungodly headache. Help, someone cut my head off. It's trying to murder the rest of me. Who am I? What sort of creature does this to their own mouth? Okay, I am a bit scared now. Let's go back to the dark. Who am I? What sort of creature does this to their own mouth? Yes. A fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. This is so weird. I don't understand what they're saying to me. These words are a bit too complicated. Maybe I'm not that smart. I'm not that smart after all. I think I, s I spread my stats out incorrectly. Oh, hello. We have no clothes on. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, we need some pants. We definitely need some pants. Uh, I think not understanding is a part of the game. <laughs> oh, well, well, thank you, Miss Chief. Yeah, I, uh, this is- Oh, pants! Pants! Uh, can I interact with the pants? Oh. Okay, this is, uh, my- my skills. Oh, I can level up skill points. Okay, what are the buttons to interact with things? Shoot. I'm just pushing my face buttons. Okay, this is zooming in and out. Welcome, Miss Chief. This is our first playthrough of Disco Elysium. What, what a game so far. It's very different from, um... Anything else I have ever played before. This is weirder than I was expecting. Yeah, I, I again, I don't know anything about this game, so... Uh, it's, it's definitely very interesting so far. I, I saw the artwork for it, and I was like, dang, that is beautiful artwork. And I just uh, heard internet... Uh, mongerings that it was a very good game and that there's like detective work and stuff and I'm like, oh, I like detective games. I played Ace Attorney. I played Danganronpa. I like murder mystery. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Wait, 
something was highlighted. Let me interact with things! Do I have to, like, be in, like, the very right- like, I have to be in a very specific position? How do I get stuff to highlight again? I'm pushing all of- oh, okay, this- this shows what I can interact with, but- but- I can't actually interact with anything. Like, none of my buttons seem to be working. I see a shoe there, can I put on the shoe? Controls. Uh, sure, we'll do a quick save. It's bought it, but it's in my backlog. Took me about three playthroughs to understand everything. Oh boy, I don't know if we have time for three playthroughs. I watched a quick look of it when it first came out. Never seen any of it. No, I have not played L.A. Noir, but I've watched other people play L.A. Noir. You know, the press X to doubt and stuff. Mongerings. J still M2. I, 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 I intended to say mongerings. Maybe D came out of my mouth instead because I'm distracted trying to figure out this game. Uh, are there- can I see the- can I see the controller? Can I see the controller? Up, like, keyboard mapping is- QWERTY vibration is on- can I see the- the stuff for controller? Because I'm using a controller. Okay, I feel like- it shouldn't be like this. I definitely think I should be able to interact with these things, but my- I don't know which button on the controller is interact. Uh, yeah, so right mouse button is interact. Do I have to set up my controller in Disco Elysium? Is that the problem? Mon maundering makes some sense, but not something I expect to hear. What is maundering? I don't think I said maundering. Oh, interesting. I learned a new word then, maundering. Uh, internet say, sometimes the controls in the game do not work because of the simultaneous connection of multiple input devices. Try disabling the gamepad, or if for some reason you have two connected keyboards or mouses. Nope, I only have one keyboard and mouse, but I'll try disconnecting my controller again. Oh man, don't tell me I have to play with the keyboard and mouse. I vastly prefer controller. Thank you, Miss. Ch oh, here we go. Thank you. Uh, movement, left hand item, right hand. Oh, left stick. Targeting interactables. Zoom in, zoom out. Reset camera zoom. That's good to know. Blah, 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 blah. Dialogue menu, dialogue menu. Heal health, heal morale. Oh, this is very complicated. Okay. The controller showed up, but none of the buttons are working still. Okay, shoulder buttons. X. X is menu, yes. Oh, these technical difficulties are killing me. Okay, now the buttons show up. Uh, context sensitive. Okay, A. I have been mashing A. Hello? Hello? Can I pick up things? Can I put my pants on? Please? Can I put my jacket on? P uh, 
Okay, give give me a second. We're gonna we're gonna try a couple things. Steam. Come to me, Steam. Do I work in the theme park tycoon game? No, I work in SketchUp, 3DS Max, Maya, and ZBrush. So, so I have to use the right stick to select things? I can't just walk up to them and interact with them? That's a choice. Yes, take, take the pants. Oh, what is this cursor thing on, on my character? Okay, I see my bag has a notification. How do I access my bag? Oh, that notification is bothering me. How do I- oh, right trigger, okay. Pants! Uh, these- oh gosh, there's so much going on in the UI. Uh, flare cut trousers. Tight around the crotch, tight around the thighs. These golden brown trousers are flare cut. Normal bell bottom trousers would be boot cut, but these are far from normal. They are someone's- oh dear. Oh dear, we need to wash our pants. Can we, uh, can we, like, do some laundry? Okay, well... Oh, I- I can't put on the dirty pants? Still? Oh, that's equip. Okay, on the left side is equip. That was not clear to me at first. I really can't just, like, walk up to something and interact with it. That seems needlessly convoluted. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. Okay, let's it take them out. Whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Nice. Good to know. Okay, can we can we grab this our tie? Has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan. The other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Somehow, you say, but it's clearly our doing. It will all make sense. I think that's because there could be many interactables. Oh, okay. I may, I'm guessing it will make sense as I keep playing or the game then. Has it been consigned there as punishment? You feel as though this creature is your friend and wants to reattach itself to your neck so that you may continue your adventures together in this strange world. Savoir fair, medium, ten. Grab the tie. Okay, so I'm guessing this is based on our stats, how high our chances of success at grabbing the tie will be. And because my my dexterity or whatever you want to call it, my machine skills are just like average, that's why the stat is really average, too. Uh, we can pull on the fan or pull on the light bulb or leave. By pull on the fan, they mean pull on the switch that controls the fan, right? Don't- not literally pull on the fan, right? Oh, uh, we'll try our luck. You reach out to Damn it! Tie. But what's this? <laughs> Diffuse, radiating chest pain. Doom comes over you. Oh, I lost health over trying to grab the tie. Oh, we are helpless. Wait, am I gaming over from attempting to grab the tie? What is happening to us? Stop, game, stop. What? What 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 does the text on the bottom right mean? What's happening? Why can't I play game? 
I can't even move. Oh. You feel something in your chest, an unnatural pressure. It's spreading to your left arm, your jaw. Oh, so I'm guessing this is bad. I'm sure it's just heartburn. Oh god, help someone. Oh no, my endurance is very, very low. Help yeah. someone. Screaming isn't happening on account of extreme shortness of breath. You're just making it worse. Oh god, it's painful. Try to remain conscious. All you feel is pain and weakness. You have to surrender now. We all oh my do. gosh, I can't believe it we're dying from so trying to grab a tie. You don't even see her face. Like you always thought you would. You only see pain and fear. So our life isn't even flashing before our eyes. The detective lieutenant of the RCM passed away yesterday. His death, though abrupt, did not come as a surprise to those who knew him. He this is the most embarrassing first playthrough ever. Captain Ptolemy Price. <laughs> Thank you, Mischief, for following. <laughs> that ain't easy on the digger. He loved his liquor, sure, said Detective Chester McLean, friend and colleague. But... I think before he ever had a heart attack, his heart was broken. According to an official statement given by the RCM, the officer was on the brink of so I was? Cases. Dude, I'm learning more of the story through the game over screen than I have from any other part of the game. The game over screen is the part that tells me I'm supposed to be solving a murder case. Okay, my bad. Let's try that again. I'm sorry for trying to grab the tie. My bad, my bad. I did not know it would kill us, okay? <laughs> I clearly overestimated myself. <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> Let's do simple things like picking up our clothes first. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I should not have tried to do that. <laughs> You died of a heart attack trying to grab a tie. I did, Bacon Mob. It's awful. You see bottles in the bathtub, wine, beer, and sweet liquors. We are an alcoholic. Wonderful. We'll take our shirt. What is this? Is that a mirror? A mirror hangs above oh. a bent and broken sink. In a first Speed run any percent is complete. Someone has ripped half the faucet off. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, I hate that. I hate that so much. Toxic masculine energy, how about? Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Or is it because it's a video game and you can never see things in a mirror in a video game because that would require twice the processing? <laughs> Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Really? Nothing? Wipe the mirror? No way I'm not doing this? Oh, that's what that portrait on the bottom left is, eh? Okay, I'm guessing... I don't know if, um... Some of my overlay stuff is probably covering really important... Um... Game UI stuff, so, um... I don't want to cover up important stuff, so I'm just gonna move some stuff around. Give me a second. Uh, maybe, okay, yeah, maybe this can go here, and then, yeah, maybe I should move my camera, because I'm kind of, I feel like I'm covering things, so I'm just gonna rearrange, and my cat cam can come over here. Okay, will I be covering anything important like this? Hopefully not. We can always change again. Yeah, Jay still am. We died from trying to grab our tie. Life is cruel and full of surprises. Uh, some streamers put their feed next to the character portrait. Oh, like, um... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sound alerts, chat. Like, over here, maybe? I'm just gonna shrink it down. Maybe like this? I'll shrink this down too. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! There we go. Nice and small. 
camera feed, but this works too. Okay, until it stops working, we're just gonna leave the layout like this. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm deciding whether or not I want to see what I look like. I'm guessing because of the fragile mental state of our character, looking in the mirror might just like send us over the edge or something. I've got to treat this guy with kid gloves. I'm not doing this. Let's back off. I'm scared because like, grabbing the tie killed us. <laughs> okay, but the faucet is running. Can I turn the faucet off? I don't want my water bill to go up. What's this door? Oh, I don't have the keys in my pocket yet. Okay, but my, my stuff is equipped. Okay, how do I... Okay, focus on me. Yes, it fish out the keys. Okay, can I open that door with the keys? Oh, is this like those um, point-and-click games where I have to equip the keys? Oh gosh, I have bullets. Keys to room one. Oh, it's my front door key. Okay, well, we've gotten some clothes on. Let's quick save because that is monumental progress, guys. We got some clothes on. Is that a broken window? The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Look out. Visual calculus, assess the damage. Okay, this says this is easy. I don't think it will kill us. The shards face nice. outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. What did More this likely then? a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Assess the size of it the is impact. too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist, like the green shoe that's on the hat rack in the corner, which, coincidentally, is missing. I threw my shoe out the window? Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. What is wrong now with me? you only have one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. Maybe it wasn't me. I should go and get that shoe. I don't need it. I don't need anyone. Okay, that doesn't sound like someone with a lot of empathy. I should the go and get that shoe. In. Your toes curl up from the cold. Oh no, our feet are cold. Okay, let's go get our shoe. Take the shoe. Reel-to-reel -reel tape player is still on, rolling empty. No, no. No, no. Oh, okay, sorry. It's gonna take me a while to get used to the selecting control thing. Empty cassette case. Oh, okay, let's put that empty cassette case into the player. Can I... Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. Do we have anger issues? That doesn't sound like someone with a lot of empathy. This magnum-sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. Okay, we have one shoe on. Excellent. Empty cassette case. There used to be a tape in this case, but it was destroyed in a fit of rage. Something about the attenure single smallest church in St. Sains must have rubbed someone the wrong way. The label says the song was recorded in 43. Okay, can I... Can I put that somewhere? Can I hold it? No? Okay, maybe I can't do anything with it. Find your other shoe! Okay, got it, got it. Come on, we can handle finding a shoe. 
the door to our balcony should be somewhere here, they say. I don't see a doorish structure. Okay, let's let's try this fan again. This fan has two yes. more. Has it been consigned? Let's pull on balcony. the fan. The blades come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. Good. You reach out Seriously? Outside, but what's this? Diffuse radiating chest pain. Doom comes over you. I can't believe this. How will I ever be a professional detective if I can't put on my damn tie? Oh my god. You feel something in your chest. An unnatural pressure. Come it's on. Spreading to your left arm. Very, very bad. This is the end. Bad. Okay, what happens if we let it all go? There's no shame in surrender. I guess now. so. We all do. It gets cop suffers final heart attack. A detective Lieutenant. This is the Arthur hardest game ever. Yesterday. His death. I have never game overed so often at the beginning of a game. I haven't even left the first room yet. This is ridiculous. I should have put more points into mis like like hand-eye coordination or something. Okay, I'm going to keep trying cuz I want my tie, damn it. This fan has two chain pull. Pull on the, the, the fan. Well, if I pull on the light bulb. A terrible mistake. Damn it. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. The lights are off. Okay, come on, 83%. You swoop up. Thank you! Tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. Warning, warning. The necktie is no longer contained. What you have in your hand is a fantastically colorful tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Oh lord, we have some terrible issues if the knot reminds us of a noose. If it's your friend, why was it up there? Who ties their friend to a scene? Were we trying to kill ourselves? Maybe this thing. Sorry, maybe there. I shouldn't say this on Twitch. I don't know, but were we trying to do something, you know, with the tie on the ceiling fan? Although I don't think that would ever work. An ominous foreboding feeling fills you as you look at the tie. Were we actually trying to, you know, do you know what with the tie? It is a very horrendous tie. Goodness, look at that. Actually, you know what? It's not that bad. I actually kind of dig it. Garish pattern. It's disturbingly vivid. Somehow you feel as if it would be wrong to ever take it off. You will betray it if you change it for some boring scarf. Gosh, we're concerned about the feelings of our tie. I'm saving because we successfully got the tie. Okay, I gotta get the cassette again. Oh, I have to pick up my shoe again. And I think I have to assess the window again. Oh gosh, quick save constantly, jeez. The window stands broken and it's- The morning light hurts- The yes. morning light hurts your eyes. It's hazy. Oh. But there you we see go. that the shards face out cool. a fine web of more uh -huh. likely a projectile than a it is too love the yes. single green. Yes, it is our shoe. The cool Okay, quick save Quick save after succeeding at any kind of skill check. Okay, let's let's try interacting with the mirror since I quick saved. If we if we die from seeing ourselves, we can just load again. A mirror hangs on the wall, covered in steam. You cannot see yourself, just the outlines of a man. You have no memory of the face that awaits you there. Really? really? Nothing? All recollection of the person you are, the people in your life, and even the world you're in has drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. This was no mere night of drinking. It was a deluge 
of world-ending proportions. Gosh, I have a problem. As you slowly reach your abort, you clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there, and you will never unbecome it. I don't care. Maybe I should touch it first, make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. Better not to know, leave. I don't care. Behold. Wow, that's a beautiful painting. Is this meant to be scary? It's gorgeous. You have no idea who this thing is. What? That's a person. Dear Lord, help me. What is this? Of course I do. It's, um, it is some kind of superstar. I think I'm a superstar. This is the face of a late stage alcoholic. I mean, the picture it's showing me right now isn't that scary or monstrous looking. It just looks like a guy. It's a very well done painting of a guy. <laughs> I don't think I'm a superstar though. That sounds a bit narcissistic. Sure. I mean, I can tell from what the game is telling me we're probably an alcoholic. Too late. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Oh wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? I have no idea why it's there, it just is. I'm not making it, the face is making it itself. I have no idea why it's there, Please it just stop. is. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. Okay. Oh my god. You can't stop. It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face and now it won't come off. It's not that bad. Why are they making me sound like such a terrible, ugly, scary thing of a human what being? What does it even mean? <laughs> What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Superstardom. God, I don't know. It's indescribable. I think it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off too in a sad has-been kind of way. There is some charm to it. It is an expression of pain. <laughs> Probably this one. <laughs> I think this is the most accurate to how I feel on a day-to-day -day basis. You are correct. Thanks, I got 5 EXP for being frank with myself. <laughs> Kirby is a superstar. I know, Hoodie. I think this is a far cry from Kirby, though. Uh, dig deep into your mind to locate the source of the expression. Attempt to stop the expression from happening. Let the mirror be for now. Uh, all of these are low and very low, so... Let the mirror be for now. We're not that ugly! Oh my gosh, why is the game so mean to us? Or I guess it's just us being mean to us. Because we clearly have mental issues that uh, we need to think about. Or that we tried to drown with alcohol. Okay, let's finally try to leave the room. How about... One hour in, we can leave the room. Oh, I can walk faster now. There's something on the table. Okay. What's on the table? Ooh, money. Cool. Hi, I'm Frank with myself. I try to be. I try to be mischief. I try. Oh, I think that's the door to the balcony. Will I find my shoe? Okay, typically I usually stream for three to four- oh, my shoe! I stream for like three to four hours, or try to. Hopefully we will, I don't know, actually make some progress. Okay, I have a bunch of notifications around myself. The smell of the sea makes you dizzy. There they both are. Two identical shoes. Both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin. Reunited on your feet. Excellent. Like two baby crocodiles. How do they fit? Discard thought. Conceptualization. How do they fit? Good. They're balanced. Comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now. Truth be told. Wow, we're so mean to ourselves. Gosh, we gotta be nicer. Who am I kidding? I'm mean to myself too. I don't want to spam chat too much, but I'm digging the running gun. Oh, thank you, Mischief. I'm glad you're enjoying. And like, don't worry about spamming the chat or anything. I don't mind at all. I'm just glad my commentary is enjoyable. Okay, we finished the shoe quest. Hooray. How can I... 
I kind of wish I could just walk up to things and interact with them instead of needing to select things all the time, but Hello, I'll maybe I'll get say. used to it. Hi, ma'am. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. I love all the art so far. Oh gosh, I don't want to butcher her name. Class J? Miss Orange... Orangey Dis... I don't know how to say her name. Disco Dancer? Her eyes are brown. And her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. Officer, am I military personnel? Turn your bloated face away from her beauty and just keep on walking? No, 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 we can chat. Uh, no. She seems perplexed by your question. There's only one solution to this. You're a businessman. No, I'm a detective. Chief Executive Officer, right? Then why did you call me Officer? Then why did you call because me Officer? Because you're a police officer, sir. I see. Are you sure? You're shitting me? Goddamn right. I'm a policeman and don't you forget it. Are you sure? <laughs> I am, yes. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well rehearsed lies all this time. All you've this been time? Here for three days on official police business. No less. What business is that? Please I remind me. Say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Okay, I figured. Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Who in their right mind would let me be an officer of the law? Suggestion. Try the expression on her. Let her know you want- No. I should get going now. Leave. No, absolutely not. Um. Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Because I drank too much. That's why I don't remember. Who in the right mind would let me be an officer of the law? Self-deprecating. That sounds like me. Don't be so harsh on yourself. <laughs> I absolutely you would be self-deprecating. Be a police officer. That's mm, yeah, maybe, possibly depends on where where, where this game is set. A glib remark. Don't let it stand. Assert yourself. Actually, I can see why they wouldn't trust me with the law. I have the right character. Better let it go. Say nothing. Uh, I- I have no confidence in this statement, so we're gonna say nothing. Retreat is not a winning tactic. What? What? What's the problem with it? Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Okay, let's- let's ask this. Could it be because of the drinking? Yeah, I figured. I know it's because of the drinking. Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Blah blah blah. I should get going now. Of course. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. Does anybody, though? Does anybody like Something the police? Something you as she's about to go. Call it an instinct. A need. The need to ask questions. It's like you said the words a million times before. Okay, this is because our reaction speed is good. She looks back at you. A light glinting off her eyes. What if I don't want to ask questions? Before you go, I have some questions for you. Uh, the art is gorgeous. They use the work of many real painters for inspiration. Yeah, I can tell. Like, especially the, the big portrait of our face. There's a lot of, like, brush textures. Like, it's it's very much like classic oil painting, where it's just... You get the planes of the face down, and it's all very rough. But when you look from afar, everything reads properly. Which is very challenging to do. Yes. Sure. What is it that they have against the police here? What exactly is here? Where am I? Tell me what year it is. Your room is almost next to mine. Did you hear anything last night? Okay, you can go now. Okay, I think we can ask all of these. The dock workers are pretty cocky. They think they're police enough. At least here on the coast. I can't say about the rest of the city. Okay. Where exactly is here? We're in a hostel, sir. No, where are we? Where in the world? We're in Revachol. <laughs> Where is Revachol? My geography is awful, okay? I have absolutely awful geography skills. Revachol. Oh, is it a made-up fictional thing? Oh, I'm an idiot. I guess it's a fictional place. Revachol is the disgraced former capital of the world, divided into zones of control under foreign occupation. Half a century after a failed world revolution, uh, she is central to our moment in time. Interesting. Zones of control under foreign occupation. Revachol forever. 
How about you tell me something else instead? Should that mean something to me? Forever shall forever. Uh, tell me something else instead? Am I talking to myself right now? I think I am, because it's encyclopedia skill. Yeah. Those words oh, I wasn't talking to myself. Something else. Feel like something you've said innumerable times before. Your mouth is the very shape of them. Tell me what year it's it is. 51. What century? The current century. And what's that? Centuries don't have numbers. They have names. And this is the current one. How many centuries have there been then? The has existed for 8,000 years, sir. 8,000? What's so funny? What's so funny? Oh no, yeah. okay, tell me something else. Uh, when you talk out loud, the choices are in quotes, otherwise it's inner dialogue. Oh, oh, very, very good to know. Thank you so much, Mischief. Because sometimes it's confusing. <laughs> uh, did you hear that anything last night? Ruckus. Loud disco music. Did I have any visitors? I say. It's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. Loud disco uh, music? Yes. Various artists. Ostentatious orchestration prime among them. Is that a band name? Oh, that. Yeah. Whoa. The less said about oh, oh, the better. Is that like cringe music or something? Is it embarrassing to listen to them or something? Oh, oh, we're huge where I come from. Oh. I was very young then, of course. Like, seven. Life gets hard, but we go on. Yeah, we go on all right. It mostly just gets hard, doesn't it? No, this this one's more optimistic. This one's like a Debbie Downer response. I don't know about that. At around two o'clock, the disco stopped, and there was a change of pace. What a happened? Slow, sad songs started playing, like organ music on repeat. That went on for quite a while. Some of the time, you were yelling along to it. What was I singing? That it doesn't matter anymore and that we're alone now. It was difficult to tell. The song itself was very quiet and soft, but you sounded like a wounded boar, sir. It was hard to understand what you were singing on top of it. I'm sorry, when you say wounded, do you mean that in a cool way, like a wild beast? Then what happened, I've heard enough. I'd probably say I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry to have disturbed you with my caterwauling. I definitely would have said I'm sorry. Don't be. <laughs> I was going out later anyway. It didn't bother me. Then what happened? Then you started screaming and trashed the place. Are you sure I wasn't being assaulted? That's so me. What did I do? You're making this up. I would never behave like that. That's so me. What did I do? The window was <laughs> The tape player, probably. The song stopped. And furniture, too. A real destructathon. There was screaming. Then I think uh, you passed out. Was there anything else? Please tell me there wasn't anything else. It prides me to hear, hear this. Tell me there was more. I've heard enough. Was there anything else? There was. I think you screamed that you didn't want to be this type of animal anymore. I may have misheard, but it was sort of memorable. Hmm. I went out afterwards. Everything was quiet by then. Around four or five. And that was it. Okay, cool. Thank you for the summary. Glad to have been of assistance. She's so helpful. What a nice lady. Caterwauling doggerel. <laughs> That's me. Okay. This is someone else's room. The weekend edition of the satirical newspaper Trompe le Monde. I can't like read it or anything, I guess. Wait, where am I? Oh, it's panning to me. Oh, 
Okay, there's like a live venue stage here on some wood pallets. This is where the lyrics would be. A big old karaoke mic just waiting for someone to sing into it. The speaker is connected to the radio. The music is seasoned with static. You should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. I don't like people to know of my vast oceanic soul. My soul is immense. My soul is modest. It's normal sized. My soul is puny. My soul's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. Probably this one. I'm just guessing when you're hungover that, like, I don't know, your brain probably can't function the way it normally would because everything hurts. If TV and movies are to be believed. This, I think, is what I would normally answer. Like, just downplay everything. But I'm guessing this is more accurate to having a hangover. Of course. At this point, precise measurements of your soul can only be performed from the outside. It needs to be through a PA system by other people. This goes well with the theory I'm developing that I'm a down-on-my-luck superstar person. What should I sing when it comes to it? I don't know. I don't like this superstar thing they're pushing. It's not me. <laughs> you should sing the sad, slow song you were listening to last night. Thought it was obvious. Of course, they'll really get a gauge on my soul with that one. I was thinking maybe I could sing something happy, like from those ostentatious orchestration folks. Um, I wouldn't sing, period. I don't want to sing. But I guess this, this dialogue choice is better. No, no. Don't sing the happy song. It's stupid. What? Happy song. songs are not stupid. It's profound. I disagree with this inland empire. You have to find out how the song goes first, though. Maybe a tape of something appropriate would help. This, uh, what should I sing when it comes to it? I have to? I don't want to, though. A man. In his late twenties, stands behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. That was disdain in his eyes. Even now he's purposely ignoring you. Something tells me you don't like me. Look at the stuffed bird. Are you the bartender? Let's look at the stuffed bird. A competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mud. Perhaps this is One his hobby. His wings broken. The man is trying to mend. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it, most likely on a wall. This is the great skewer. The seabird is the symbol for the discovery of the Insulindian Isola, the part of the world you are in right now. I see. Something about it makes you feel bitter. Uh, can I help you with that? That's the great score, right? Say nothing. What happened to the bird? What happened to the bird? Your buddy is over there. He looks at the doors where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? I'm a cop and I talk to whomever I please. What do you mean, my buddy? Okay, not this one. What do you he mean, my buddy? not to hear you. Concentrating on the bird instead. Something tells me you don't like me. Okay, if it were me, I'd leave and talk to my buddy. I would not want to bother the guy who clearly does not want to be bothered. No Nosafed? Oh, it's a healing item. Water cooler. A large bubble is rising to the surface. The soft purr of an electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Someone is working. The menu has been wiped clean, only the word Monday is written on it. A woman's hand wrote yesterday's menu. Today starts in a man's handwriting. How do you know? Don't stereotype people's handwriting. A sign reads, Mess Hall Reserve for Union Members. Doors open at 4 o'clock. Is that a pinball machine? 
This royal pinball machine is unplugged. Ah, fooey. No pinball. Hello, sweetie. Oh, it's a grandma. Lena, the cryptozoologist's wife. Uh, note, an orange plus on the... on the... left, above the portrait. Uh, this is your healing item. They don't explain it well. Okay, so if I want to heal, I just push left on D-pad. Thank you, Mischief. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. Oh, she seems like a nice lady. Okay, let's talk to our colleague. A bespectacled man in an orange Kim Kitsuragi. He's tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You, as you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. If an assault were launched on this building right now, if the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this man would hurl himself he in would? this way to save you. You are sure of this, but why? Hold on, who is he to me? Shake his hand? Don't shake his hand. Okay, this is internal dialogue, so hold on, who is he, he to me? is your half-brother. Oh, really? Okay, shake his hand. Hello. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Prison 57. You must be from the 41st. Wait, if he's my half-brother, he doesn't know it? Is that why he's introducing himself to me? Lieutenant Precinct 57, you must be from the 41st. Okay. You realize he's waiting for your name. This what is, is my name? To come up with a really good name for yourself. Get, Get creative. creative. Conceptualize. I don't really know my name. Invent a name for yourself. Uh. Quick save. Can't quick save. Ah. Okay, we're just gonna risk it. Concentration makes you squint your eyes. Your name. <laughs> I'm squinting while thinking of a name. Orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. It is not yet time. I don't really know my name. Say nothing. Uh, not actually a half-brother. Half-brother because also a cop. Esprit de corp. Okay, is that like police lingo? Oh, understanding cult. Culture. Yeah, I know nothing about cop culture, so that's why I don't know. Uh, I don't really know my name. I would just be honest. Okay, then. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday, too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? What uh... he means is, he has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied it's like team spirit for cops oh, okay thank you mischief uh you mean him yeah i just talked to him no i haven't there must be some kind of misunderstanding you're taking me for someone else no i don't think he is you mean him if you don't mind we should talk to him again ask him for a rundown of the area now that i'm here as well i understand the scene is out back right oh the murder is here it also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here in full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Yes, the police. I'm aware. I'm a policeman. What interviews? I have, yes. I haven't. What interviews? <laughs> At the 57, we like to prepare an initial list of persons of interest. And then just skim the surface. Prepare the field. Get to know the players. You don't do that? Maybe it's not an inter-district practice. Oh, this guy is so nice. He's totally giving us the benefit of the doubt, despite our pure incompetence. I haven't. Okay. We'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Dead body? I don't like dead bodies. Look, man, you know, yeah. No, completely. Dead body? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like dead bodies. I don't like dead bodies. But did you get kicked down from the tree? No. So, the body is still <laughs> in the tree. This is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. It is I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have problems. 
where it has been hanging for seven days straight. Oops. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. What if I told you I'm not really a police officer? How can you be so sure I'm from the police, but I can't remember anything? What were we, sp what were we supposed to do again? Let's get going then. Uh, but I can't remember anything. That's exactly what I would I say. I see you drank last night and the night before. And that you are still drunk now. But I have seen officers go through worse. Much worse. If He's so understanding. Away, there is a general store nearby. But as I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. Do we have a badge or something? Do we have some kind of police identification on us? I don't remember seeing a badge on our equipment anywhere. How can you be so sure I'm from I the police? Sent here to meet a detective from Precinct 41. You have oh. the insignia of the citizen's militia on your sleeve and on your back. Oh. I suppose you could be impersonating him. You could have gotten the insignia from the black market or fortune. He's actually like really but thoroughly now, explaining himself when he doesn't need to. <laughs> I'm not from the Inspectorate General. This guy is like really, really overly understanding. The Inspectorate General <laughs> means internal affairs. What he's saying is he's not from the Rat Squad and isn't supposed to suspect such things. Ah, you mean the Rat Squad. You mean internal affairs. Okay. Yes, but I'm not them. I'm from Criminal Investigation. Much more interesting Criminal Investigation. Uh, you said insignia, these white rectangles, you mean? Yes. But they're just white they're rectangles. They're not just white rectangles. They bear a halogen watermark with the letters RCM and a pattern resembling the street grid of Ravachon West. Wow, very intricate. I would ask you to step into the headlights of my motor carriage. But again, it's none of my concern. I just need you to do your job. Very frank, very to the point. You mean you don't have a badge? Yeah, I figured. I was like, I don't have a badge on me or anything. It was not on me when I woke up. I have my badge, I'm a policeman, and I have my badge. No, I, I'd be honest. I would absolutely be honest. It was not on me when Using I woke up. Using identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I would advise you to locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. Okay. Okay, let's go. To you, officer. Oh, he's so polite. Lieutenant Kitsuragi is now in your party. <gasps> party member. You can talk to him whenever by interacting with him. Excellent point about the badge. Yeah, like, cause, cause, you know, we got keys from our pants, so I would think, you know, if we had a badge or something, it would show up in our jacket, maybe, but it did not. Hello, sweetie. Wait, who's sweetie? Does that mean you like me? Oh, stop. Who's sweetie? Why, you are, officer. I'm no sweetie. Look at me. Hmm, maybe I am? Self-deprecation, yes. You're a handsome man, officer, with your mustache and your Oh, she's so nice. That silly dimple on your chin. Thanks, I appreciate it. Dimple or not, I am a bitter man. The years have taken their toll. No, don't say that. That stupid dimple has only brought me suffering. I don't want to talk about the dimple anymore. Thanks, I appreciate you it. You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained. I completely forgot to introduce myself. Oh, that's okay, ma'am. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. This Lena is wacky enough for the monthly cook. Hire her on the spot. You seem to be in a chair. How'd you like to roll with me? I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't know where I am or what I'm doing or anything. I've got to get going now. Okay, this is not a very nice way to point that out. How'd you like to roll with me? I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't know where I am or what I'm doing or anything. Yes, officer. You look rather dazed. Like a stunned fox. But surely things can't be that bad. I drank so hard, I forgot literally everything. I hope you're right, I hope it's not too bad. Yeah, I'm blowing this whole thing out of proportion, forget I said anything. Uh, we don't need to tell her that much. That's like, too much information. I hope you're right, I hope it's not too bad. You know where we are, right? The Whirling in Rags cafeteria, it was on my keys. We're in Revachol, on Insulinde. Oh, I don't 
really know some seedy hotel a war zone at the edge of the world we're dead haunting each other we're ghosts jeez jeez some of these dialogue options are really really unhinged i could see why this game can get kind of crazy but we're just gonna play like a fairly normal person that i hope that i am <laughs> the whirling in rags cafeteria and where is the whirling in rags cafeteria itself located in Revishal, the edge of civilization. In hell, we're all in hell. See, I have no idea. In Revishal? Yes, indeed. We are in the fine city of Revishal. Okay, Revishal is the disgraced capital of the world, something like that. Honestly, I don't know diddly squat about Revishal. What kind of place is this? This. How would I even begin to tell you? <laughs> Revishal is the most beautiful city in the world. We're fortunate to be here, you and I. I haven't seen very many other cities personally, but everyone says so. Revishol is a rare jewel. This city used to rule the world. So it's like New York it City, maybe. Days. I don't know. Hmm. Speaking of history, you know what year it is, yes? Nope. It's the spring of 51. It's the year 973. All I know is we are approaching the end times. It's a bad year in my late 40s or 50s. I don't even know how old I am. This one, because I don't know how old I am. There, there. The year is 51. And She's so understanding and nice. I'm sure there are better days ahead. Well, thank she you, Lena. Her hands smoothing out the creases in her blanket. Even as she attempts to reassure you, the lieutenant studies you, rubbing his chin. I'm beginning to suspect that you might indeed be completely adrift in this reality, thinks the lieutenant. How can it be that bad? Never mind. We're in this now. I can tell that this is. Oh Jackson gosh, so many so paragraphs. <laughs> what regime are we living under? What mode of government? Some kind of democracy, maybe. I'd like to think it's the dictatorship of the proletariat, but something tells me it's not. Our leaders are fierce warriors who traverse the plains on steeds. Civilization cowers before us. We are governed by intelligent machines that perform calculations to determine the freest, the freest market. Everyone hustles and grinds like a badass visionary. Radios are being used to control people's minds and distort our perception of reality, concealing our true masters, foreigners, and women. Cop, we are living under the cop regime. Oh, this is so much to take in. What regime are we living under? What mode of government? Okay, it's... The... The lady... The lady... The smoking lady, she said something about... Uh, Revachol is... Ruled by a bunch of... For, like, a group of foreign... Foreign regimes or something like that. I don't know which one of these that would refer to it's probably not a dictatorship fierce warriors who traverse the plains on steeds i don't think so probably not this one either definitely not this one some kind of democracy maybe the most basic boring answer no, sadly not <laughs> dang it revishal is what's called a zone of control under an alliance of foreign powers called the Coalition. We have no government of our own, and what democracy we have is market-driven. Hold on, my brain is processing. Sorry, this is like a lot to take in. A coalition. Meaning, buying is voting. I see. If there's no government, how come there are cops? I don't even know what to say. I'm so disappointed. Yeah, are, are the cops privately run? That's an interesting point. Oh dear. This is troubling. You really ought to know that, being one yourself. There aren't any cops in Revishol. Yeah, not, not in, in the, the traditional, traditional sense. sense. Okay. The status of law enforcement has been a complicated matter since the revolution. But we should stop for today, sweetie. You look like you need a break. Besides, I'm not the best person to explain the big things to anyone. So how did I do? What is the revolution you mentioned? Who could tell me more? What is the revolution you uh, mentioned? Defeat, I'm afraid. 
The people of this archipelago tried to build something new, something different. The rest of the world didn't like it, so they came and ended it. This was 42 years ago. What does that have to do with there not being any cops, but I'm a cop, whatever it was, hasn't stopped me? It has something to do with everything. I'm just a poor woman, she thinks. What do I know of these things? And how can I help you? Hooray for empathy. So, how did I do? No, let's not keep bothering the nice lady. Someone more educated in sweeping matters. Maybe- No, I'm not an encyclopedia. I won't be a guide either. I'm a detective. Of course. Then Get a I reality lowdown. Someone rich, maybe? Wealthy people are educated. Though I don't know where you would find a wealthy person in Martinez. How'd you like to roll with me? Can the lady join our party? Whatever do you mean? I want you to be my wheelchair partner in fighting crime, ridding backyards of corpses, catching sequence killers. Nothing. I was thinking of the lyrics to a song. Want to roll with me? Uh... I mean, from a gameplay perspective, I'm more interested in this option. <laughs> Can she join our party? Sequence killers? Oh my. But I think you already have a partner, sweetie. A partner who needs you to help him get a corpse down from a tree. Kim, of course. I forgot I had you. I know, I know, but there are also side mysteries, sequence killers, and forays into the paranatural. You're probably right, Kim. I like this one. This is a cute answer. Kim, of course. I yes, forgot I had you. It seems to me that you do well to stick close to him. He has the look of an upstanding officer of the law. Someone you can lean on. And, sweetie, you are looking unsteady. Yes, I need someone competent. And if you weren't there, I don't think you'd have much use for me. Why? Three heads are better than two. Yeah, why? Thank Three heads you, are better than two. Martinez isn't the most wheelchair accessible place, you see. Oh, Some that's ten. awful. We always need to make things accessible. Perhaps another time. Okay. Of course, dear. Good luck with your case. Yeah, I, I don't like asking about, you know, or like blatantly pointing out people's disabilities. I don't think that's very nice. A bottle of rum has been knocked over. A beautiful dark liquid is spilling out. Is this person drunk too? A man is sleeping at the table, wearing mud cake boots and rolled down overalls. The back of his shirt reads, Wild Pines, encircled by a logo with a tree. On the counter, rolled out of his open hand, you see a blister pack of headache medicine. Quick save? Oh. Oh. Oh, you're right. You're totally right, Miss Chief. Uh, Lieutenant, who is this? Pick up the pills. Wake him up. No, this is extremely low. Lieutenant, who is this? Looks like he works. McTeddy Games, a welcome. Logistics company who owns and operates. It's our first time playing. Why did you waste the glorious rum? Save it. I could save the rum. I don't know. I just interacted with it. Not that something dangerous is coming up, but you should quick save sometimes. Yes, thank you, Miss Chief. Very good reminder. I completely forgot. I just got absorbed in the dialogue. Why is he I sleeping during the day? Try going on in the harbor. There's not much to do aside from drinking and sleeping. Uh. Let's pick up the, the pills. Man does not mind. You probably need them more than he does. You've just picked up some magnesium. This item is stored in the bottom Tutorial of the screen above your character portrait. Use magnesium to heal your morale if you have morale damage. Thanks, tutorial agent. Very helpful. Let's leave. I'm making stuff up. I've never played it. I do want to play it though. The writing seems good. Yes, so McTeddy Games, I have also never played this game. I have also just heard that it is very good and that uh, I should avoid spoilers at, if at all possible. And um, yeah, I, I was attracted to this game because of the art. Beard notices you approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. Yes, maybe he will talk to Kim, Mr. because Kim seems yeah, much more respectable. 
You run this place. I want to have a tutorial agent in my life. If only we could, Mischief. Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Precinct 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Precinct 41. He doesn't... Yeah, I don't know my name either. The Harbinger of Ruin. What is gold and orange like a forest fire but smells like liquor? I'm currently in between names. Say nothing. Yeah, the art is super nice, Nick Teddy Games. Like, I, oh, I've only seen, like, the character art from it, and I was like, oh, beautiful. Love it. I should play that game. Uh, am I much of a reader or care about narrative things, movies, etc.? Uh, like, I mean, I used to read books back when books were the thing. Now they're less of a thing. Um, but yeah, I do read a lot on the internet, and I like reading, I guess, I guess I've read a lot of visual novel-esque type games. Uh, like, I, I think I mentioned before, I've played Ace Attorney, I've played Danganronpa, whatever. A lot of, like, detective games I've, I've played, except for L.A. Noir. I didn't play L.A. Noir. And yeah, I, I do enjoy movies and stuff. I'm more biased towards animated movies because I also really like animation. <laughs> My tutorial agent would just keep reminding me of the basic controls, but I know the controls. I just suck. I didn't know the controls for this game. I spent like the first half hour of the stream figuring out controls. Books don't exist now. I'm old. I still read books. L.A. Noir is not that great, IMO. It was just because L.A. Noir wasn't on a Nintendo system. I mainly grew up playing Nintendo games, so um... Yeah, like a lot of Xbox and PlayStation stuff I just missed. And I've only kind of started recently playing more PC games. So like any PlayStation and, I don't know, Xbox games I may have missed. If it's on the PC, then I eventually kind of try to get to it. But most of my video game background is Nintendo stuff. <laughs> uh, I'm currently in between names. Let's just say that. It's like when you've left your band, but you haven't decided on a solo artist name yet. Kim is about to say something. Let him. Yes, let him. Right. Now, I know it took us a let, while let to him talk. Scene. It also took you a while to call us and report a dead body. It was you who placed the call, yes? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually Sylvie. Here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. Nice. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, of Martinez? No. I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just uh, one of the Nintendo uh, for the win. What's have. your favorite little known Nintendo type game? Little known? Um I I am hmm, little known. Let me let me try and think. I, I, would, I think I'm like a pretty basic Nintendo gamer in the sense that I've played a lot, all, a lot, not all, but a lot of the Zeldas, a lot of the Marios, uh, the Xenoblades. I'm just glancing at my game cabinet right now to remember what I played. Yeah, Star Fox 64. Okay, it's not a Nintendo game per se, but I really like The World Ends With You. That was originally on the Nintendo DS, so it was a Nintendo exclusive, but it, w it was not a Nintendo game. <laughs> uh, I like Paradise Killer. It's a cool indie platformer visual novel murder mystery. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Let me Google that. Paradise Killer. Yeah, other than like, you know, Ace Attorney and Danganronpa, I played like Hotel Dusk, which was also this like little... Uh, visual novel thingy on the DS. Oh. Oh, wow. This is so colorful. Oh, yes. Very visual novel-esque, I can see. Okay, I'm gonna leave that tab open. I'll just read more about it later. Any opinion on Xenoblade Chronicles X? I loved it. 
It was a very good exploration game. The story kind of flew over my head, I'm gonna be honest. Like, basically anything after Xenoblade, the first Xenoblade, a lot of the story gets too convoluted for me. Like, the first Xenoblade, I thought the story was quite solid. It, it, was, it wasn't fantastic, but it was good. And then, like, it got kind of funky in Xenoblade X, um, like, with the alien stuff. But the big draw for Xenoblade X for me was the exploration with the mechs and stuff, and, like, all the gigantic areas. I think I poured, like, 180 hours into it just doing exploration. Uh, Oops, sorry, I need to progress the dialogue. You still know your way around, yes? Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here, and I'm not going to start working here. Okay, again. I think I'm going to start reading in my head to advance the dialogue a little bit faster, if that's okay. I didn't Because it's going to take us forever. Detective. He probably means this is where you step in and ask your questions. Right, then. Questions. I got this. Who? Me? No, I'm good. Pass on the questions. No, questions. I got this. This face expresses profound doubt in your having this. Okay, fair enough. He has every right to think that of me, but we're gonna try anyway. Uh, Hotel Dusk was great, yes. I really liked the, the hand-sketching art style of it, from what I remember. It's been a really long time. I read half a book today, not bad. You go, J Still M2. That's way better than me. I haven't read books in forever. <coughs> Shipping my boba. Thank you, you are amazing and correct. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> agreed that Xenoblade X is good for exploration. <laughs> Uh, I couldn't get into the Xenoblade Core series, but XPX Exploring was some of the most fun I ever had. I actually thought I hated the game until one day I looked and said, I voluntarily put 90 hours into exploring. I think I like this. <laughs> I'll stop distracting you. Oh no, don't worry, McTeddy Games. We love to do game discussion. I rearranged my book to-do pile today. Does that count? <laughs> productivity is productivity, mischief. Doesn't matter what kind of productivity, just anything that benefits your lifestyle in some way, it counts. Um, but yeah, sorry, I'll just summarize my thoughts quickly about Xenoblade because I have played all of the Xenoblade games. And yes, I do, I really enjoyed the first game. Second game, very love hate relationship with the second game. I did not enjoy the the fan service and the character designs in the second game, it really turned me off. But the gameplay was still fun, so I kind of trudged through it. And it was very similar in the sense that like, oh man, I kind of hate everything, but the gameplay is still fun and I still spent like 80 hours into it, so I don't know if I like it or hate it. And then Xenoblade 3 kind of turned it around again because it was more, um, it was more similar to the first game where it was just like anime war drama. And it was less, you know, dumb teenage anime hijinks like the second game. So the third game was was fine. Oh, Raviolin! Hi, Raviolin! Welcome, welcome! Thank you so much for raiding. Please go follow Raviolin. They stream um, a variety of different games. System Shock. I I don't know what System Shock is. Do tell. How is your stream? How is your stream? Okay, anyway, uh, I, I need to pick a dialogue choice. Where exactly is the body? Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. And how do we That's get there? Easy. See that door there? First you exit through that. Oh, he's being That's snarky right. with us. You should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. He's being so snarky Doesn't with us. Feel guilty of breaking that hole. It's implied in his voice. Uh, who killed I him? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. Okay, let, let's let's not let's not ask that. I have another the question. Turns the page in the little notebook he's been scribbling in. Why did Sylvie go away? away? Because none of your business. Please, can you cooperate? I'm trying, okay? I'm trying my best. Have they not been telling you you're a cop? 
Am I not a cop? Everything is my business. H have they not been telling you you're a cop? Okay, I think this is fair to say. I'm just trying okay, to do my job. You got me. She went away because of the dead body out back. And because I asked for her number. That's why Sylvie went Oh, away. he was embarrassed. He he did a he did a workplace faux pas that he shouldn't have done. Uh, maybe I'll have to try the third game. I was going to save money on it. You you can wait for a sale, McTeddy, if you're not that interested. Cause um Yeah, the third game is the gameplay is similar to the second game, but the story is more similar to the first game. But it, again, it's it's one of those like more than a hundred hour games. And the exploration is not as in-depth as uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X, I will say, but it's more similar to the first game again. So yeah, you, you could wait for a sale. Uh, System Shock is like that scene where the cop suddenly dies picking up the tie, but the whole game is like that. Really? System Shock is an old game about getting out of a space station controlled by an evil AI. That sounds terrifying, but I'm actually playing a remake of it. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that sounds a bit like, um, Space Odyssey, that, that movie with the, the robot with the red, the red eye or the red light thing. I struggle to play long RPGs now. Nintendo never gives sales because they are monsters that I love. Yes, I know it's hard to get sales on first party Nintendo games, but I have seen Xenoblade go on sale sometimes. Very occasionally, it might be like 10% off or something, <laughs> which is like better than nothing, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you. The number is safely tucked away in a small pocket. Mystery solved. Didn't go well. I think it's obvious it didn't go well. We don't need to uh, delve into it. Mystery solved. Because I thought you were supposed to be investigating the lynching. Not my employer conduct. This stuff gets on my nerves. I am a feminist. I guess I like to be thorough. Everything has something to do with everything. I don't know, I just went for it. You're right, I probably shouldn't have asked. Okay, no. I had every right to ask. This stuff gets on my nerves. No, let's let's not say that. That's just gonna antagonize him. Everything has something to do with everything. This one, Good for sure. You. Uh, was there something else? I'd like to get back to what I was doing. Are you the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. He's very okay. animated all of a sudden. This is clearly a touchy subject for him. You look like a bartender. What's the difference? Understood. What's the I difference? Have three cafeterias I manage. Three. Get over it. What? What's the, what's the problem? I'm just interested in what you do. What is your problem with me? Why would I have a problem with you? You're a hero, cop. So not only am I a cop, but I'm also a hero? You're being sarcastic. E e I don't think I'm a hero. I'm not inclined to think I'm a hero. You're being sarcastic. What did you ride in? <laughs> Take the body down. Solve the murder and not trash my hostel room. Ah, uh, the dead body. I didn't actually get get it down, did I? Oh my god, I did all those things. I do not appreciate your tone. This is no way to talk to an officer. Uh, I know I did all those things. You're right. You didn't. And it's only taken you three days not to. What have I been doing all that time? Have you seen no, me around? I haven't seen you around. I just got here, remember? Okay, that's all. Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. No one is saying the multi-pattern necktie you found tied to the ceiling fan can talk. No one. It must be merely imagination. But let's bail! Time to push the eject button! Sounds like a responsibility! You don't like those! Why is the necktie talking to us? Yeah, System Shock sounds like a terrifying game. Is it survival horror? Because that's my first inclination into what it could be. I respect their choice because I will wait for deep dive sales for any other company. 
These I settled for 20% off. Yeah, Nintendo games very rarely go on sale. So it's like if I know I want to play it right away and it's a first party Nintendo game, I usually just shell out for it. Because, yeah, Zeldas and Marios, you know you're going to have a good time. So it, for me, it's worth the money, but I understand not everybody can do that. I'm so glad you got the tie. We tried very hard, Mischief. Third time's the charm. <laughs> Uh, what's Royale? That's that's the currency. Slip away unnoticed. I don't owe you shit. I kind of want to try. But it's very, very low. Extremely low. I forgot to quick save. <laughs> um, um, I don't want to do the angry option. So far, we've avoided doing any angry options. Oh, hydrate. Thank you so much, Revulent. I have bubble tea. That I have finished. Okay. It's back to water for me. Oh, Lord. Will this kill me? I only have like one life or something. Thank you, Raviolin. How was the stream? Like, how far did you get in System Shock? Is it actually a survival horror like I like I am uh speculating it to be? Like I know what Rael is. Okay, I don't know, 28%. Oh, what am I doing? One moment you're running like the wind. Then you've suddenly turned around and are giving him the finger. Furiously. With both hands. Why? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why? What the fudge is wrong with me? The lady in the wheelchair is right behind me, isn't she? Why did I do this? Why did I have to use both my hands to flip him off? Why both? F you, asshole. Why did I do this? Why did I have to use bo The lady in the wheelchair. Yes, think about the lady in the wheelchair. Absolutely think about the lady in the wheelchair. We are unhinged! Like, okay, so to everybody who's new right now, and, like, again, this is my first time playing the game, but I'm really trying to just play this as me, to just roleplay as me, because that's easiest for me to process. I'm not good at, like, roleplaying or anything like that, so I'm just trying to do me. I'm just doing me. Why the fudge is he doing this? This is really hard to manage. <laughs> that's true. Yes. And it's worrying. But let's not fixate on it. Uh, I would like Look to fixate on it. That's of utmost concern. He has no idea what's going on. You and your fuck you fingers floating in the air. Barkeep's got his mouth agape like an idiot. You showed him. Uh, no, I don't think I showed him anything. Why did I do this? Please don't tell me I killed Lena or something. What is wrong with me? Back so soon. Okay, I'm guessing this ancient reptilian brain is some kind of metaphor for something that I don't fully understand yet. I had an accident, so worth it. This did not need to happen. I gave no such commands to my body. This. Those are <laughs> I gave no such commands. The spinal, cord. <laughs> the spinal cord has yet to reveal itself to you. Its mysteries. I don't know of anybody's spinal cord that does this. Wow, there's more of you hidden? I'm so cool. I don't know. That just comes off as a lazy effort at reconceptualizing the antics of a shambling drunk. This one. This one. If it comes off like that, it's because it is. And you <laughs> I like are. option two. <laughs> It's cool to see a healthy person try to deal with an insane hero. Ancient reptilian brain is just your core emotions. I see. I don't know, wouldn't wouldn't most- I, I imagine a lot of streamers might, you know, play the game the first time this way, because I feel like this is just the easiest way to try and play it. Do, do people, like, right off the bat just start roleplaying something? 
Because that's so difficult for me. I was wrong to let you go. I should have kept you here. Is it bright where you are? Is it terrifying? What is have the love? You felt the love. I sure as hell haven't felt no love. It's okay. It's going fine. What do you mean? Um. I should have kept you here. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? Are you okay? Oh, good. She's okay. Okay. You have sustained the trauma to your lower Okay, I healed myself. In addition, you have strained your left trapezius muscle. Pain surges down your back when you move. Ouch, I'm not very okay. No, are you okay? The chair took the brunt of it. Don't worry. No, no, of course I need to worry. Oh my gosh. Are you sure, ma'am? Yes, yes. Check on him. Oh, she's still so nice despite our insanity. Sir, I didn't I didn't mean for this to happen. I'm sorry. This has always been a cop-friendly place. The drinks are on the house, okay? There were a lot of drinks on the Oh, table. okay. Uh, that's what the 130 was for. Three nights and the broken window though. Uh, that's 100 square. I don't know why he's being so nice to us after what we just did. Is he just scared that we're going to do something unhinged again? And he's trying to de-escalate. He's shaken. Barton now, and he'll cave in. I won't pay for that window. Ouch. Cool. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you for your cooperation. Don't thank me yet. You still owe me a hundred real. If you don't have it by tonight, I just can't let you up there. And for God's sake, watch out for yourself. Okay. That could have gone way worse, I'm sure. I'm glad the lady is fine. Oh my gosh, I was so concerned that we would hurt the lady. Oh, it's auto-saving. Excellent. But I'm gonna quick save anyway. I would hate myself if something happened to the lady. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank. And this place sure isn't it. Do I even have one? I have no idea. I hope I have a home. Don't tell me real estate prices are out of control in this world, too. But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. I don't know, near south maybe? Far away? Up on Marvel Hill? What the heck is Marvel Hill? You had to be somewhere? I don't know, near? You don't really know, do you? I don't. Does this mean I'm homeless? I have only a vague, blackened image. I don't want to be homeless. I hope it's a vague, blackened image. <laughs> a vague, blackened image doesn't sound like somewhere. The game doesn't autosave enough. Okay, I'm gonna try to remember to quick save, but it's really hard when I'm invested in the dialogue. <laughs> Could I trace the way back somehow to the exact street, the exact number on a building? I'll live in a dumpster. I don't care. F everything. Hobo cop. No, 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 no. I want to have a home. I want to have a home. You can try. Run some addresses in your head when you get the time. Maybe a street or an apartment will appear. Okay. Cool. Are you okay, Lena? Hello again, sweetie. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Sweetie needs money. Do sweeties get money? No! Yes, are you okay? Are you okay? I don't know what got into oh, me. Oh, I'm perfectly all right. I'm more worried about you. No, 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 no. No need to worry about this piece of trash. Yeah, what was that? The cafeteria manager is a bad man, a man without honor or compassion. It was like my body had a will of its own. I was running my torso turn. My hands made this lewd gesture. I'm sorry you had to witness it. This. Don't beat yourself up over it too much, dear. People do strange things when the old fight or flight kicks in. I'm just glad you weren't injured. Okay, I gotta go now. Do not ask her for money! Absolutely not! Okay, let's do a quick save, and then I'm gonna open my menu. Oh man, I've got so many tasks! Report your badge missing. 
Inspect victim's body, get a reality low down. Perhaps try a rich person. Rich people are educated. Call Sylvie using Kim's shortwave to ask whether she made the call. Pay for damages. Ask around for money and be careful with your spending. If you're unsure how much you owe, ask Gart. Okay. Oh wait, what's that other thing? Thought cabinet. Let's rewind. Let's trace your drunken steps back home. Jump across the raised channel bridge southwest of here. Fall over. Get up. Get off the asphalt in 20 minutes. Shuffle your feet through courtyards, scaring little children. Go under the great raised mo motor tract, the 881, until you reach the domain eminent in North Jamrock. The streets are frozen this time of year. Internalize? Oh, oh gosh, this is very complicated. I have no idea what... Skill points, 55 out of 100. What does internalize do? I don't know. It seems like we equipped it in some way. Maybe that's good for the gameplay. Kitchen reserved for personnel until 1 o'clock, but I am police! I am police! Okay, let's go outside. Summer door closed for the winter. Wait, don't we have to go out to get to the body and stuff? Yes? Uh, tell me about the case. I think you should know that I can't remember anything. I want to talk about you. You seem to be following me. I think you should know that I can't remember anything. No response. He just arches his brow. He's having trouble processing it. Believing it even. I feel like I must repeat this. I don't remember anything. There was heavy drinking involved. Have you tried concentrating on something other than your personal affairs? There is a sudden harsh edge to his voice. Like he's tired of hearing about your personal oh, affairs. Oh, he's getting tired of us. <laughs> What's wrong with personal affairs? What should I concentrate on? I'm completely lacking in basic information about even this organization we're in. Can you help me? I'm afraid this is a medical situation. Fine. I'm completely lacking in basic information. Yes. Fine. We should get through this day first. Off hours begin at 9 p.m. If you're still having trouble then, I can give you an orientation. Really? You look fine to me. I'm talking serious, unbelievable damage. I saw myself in the mirror and I had no idea who I was. This? This psychodrama is unbecoming of an officer. Clearly, he prefers to think you're malingering. He cannot fathom that anyone could- It, it means equip, but it takes time to process the thought. You will get some benefits from each thought, but you don't know what in advance. Oh my gosh, this game is so complicated. <laughs> It's not psychological, some sort of major brain damage has occurred on an unprecedented scale. I mean, possibly, or it could really just be the drinking. Okay, full disclosure, I don't drink very much. Um, it's really just like a drink or two in social situations. And I've never really been like full on drunk. I think I've been tipsy at the most. Um, definitely never just blacked out or anything, so I really don't have any idea what it's like when you drink way, way, way too much. My experience is just, like, seeing the portrayal of it on TV and movies and stuff. So, can this happen from just drinking? <laughs> like, just forgetting everything? <laughs> Thoughts are kind of optional. I mostly ignored them the first time. Okay, well, we'll try and see what it does to the game. I, uh, it's not psychological. So I'm sorry. Okay, then let's you try should it. Consider seeking medical attention. You can use the radio in my kinema to call your station's lazarette. Was there anything else you wanted? He's being very, very helpful despite our complete incompetence. Tell me what about do the you case. Want to know? Literally anything about it, I can't remember a single thing. Would you say this is a mysterious case? They were from different precincts. Why are we on the same case? Literally anything about it. You can it. tell me what you do know to help me narrow it down a bit. I know literally nothing about it, only what you do told you want me before. Me to brief you? 
Brief, yes, that sounds good. Three days ago, the RCM emergency desk received a report about a security guard who was found hanged in Martinez. An anonymous caller said there was a dead body behind the whirling in Rags Hostel cafeteria. Mm. The cadaver had been there for four days. No one had come to investigate. I see. During that time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. The caller did not identify him, but used the word lynching. There is an ongoing labor dispute between the local dock workers and the logistics company Wild Pines. I was uh. told we should approach the death as part of this dispute. Oh, it's a workplace thing. Wait, does the briefing say who the victim was? Why didn't we know anything about the caller? Who the a victim was? A security guard or worker of some sort hired by Wild Pines. This was just hearsay for Martinez, of course. We need to find out the truth. Why didn't we know they anything? They didn't identify themselves in any way. The tone was muffled using a device of some sort. What? The could identify neither the caller's age nor sex. Why hide themselves? There's a strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what's seen as union matters. The dock workers' union is the de facto police in Martinez. Oh, there's so many now police it factions, it's confusing. We cannot allow that. That's messed up. That's a bad union. Bad union! Bad union! And the RCM is... Of course, yes, I understand everything. Let me just make this perfectly clear. Our job here is to find the killer. I still don't understand anything. The RCM is... Uh, your sensibilities may mesh oddly with the role-playing slash plot, varied though options are. Yeah, like, already this character is beyond my understanding because this is just all these things I've never ever done before. But we're going to try, Jay still am. We're going to try our hardest. Because anything but being my authentic self is just too hard. It's too hard. Uh, some amnesia definitely happens after heavy drinking. Total amnesia is mostly fictional. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's us. The Ravachol Citizens Militia. Ravachol Citizens Militia. The RCM, or the Ravachol Citizens Militia, is There's so much knowledge to take in. Part of a self organized peace corps of the occupied city of Ravachol. The RCM operates within a legal twilight, yet. Its authority is rarely questioned. It's super useful to know this. Okay. Hold on, I'm rereading that paragraph so I can absorb it. It operates within a legal twilight? What does that mean? Like, a legal time? Of course, yes, I understand everything now. Uh, let me just make this perfectly clear. Our job here is to find the killer. Yes. That's right. Cool. Can we go over the preliminary info again? Would you say this is a mysterious case? If we're from different precincts, why are we on the same case? I'm afraid you and I are pawns in a, a pissing competition. Oh, they're beefing and they want to see who does the stuff better. His disdain is clear. This man would not- He does not care for these precinct politics. You don't know? I assumed you were in on it. I don't remember being in on anything. You know what I'm in on? Retrograde amnesia. Tell me about it. I don't remember being in on anything. That's good. Tell me about it's it. It's just stupidity. We shouldn't waste any more time on it. If you want my take, ask me after we've inspected the victim. You should tell me now. This seems relevant. Uh, well, let it go, I think. I think he's right. He can he can tell me after we do our job. Was there anything else you wanted to know about the case? Uh, would you say this is a mysterious no, case? It's not a particularly mysterious case. Uh, why not? The deceased is a security guard for a corporation involved in a labor dispute. It doesn't take a DeLorean polymath to put the pieces together. DeLorean I polymath? I just don't see the case getting more mysterious than that. What is a DeLorean polymath? These words I don't understand. DeLorean polymath. <laughs> An individual whose knowledge spans a substantial number of subjects. I see. So like, not me? <laughs> uh, this 
game is based on a homebrew tabletop game that the authors played for like 10 years. Wow. They have tons of lore. Legal Twilight means there are no clear laws, but things kind of work de facto. Oh, oh man. All these like sayings and terms of expression that I'm just straight up not familiar with. Uh, I was thinking something otherworldly might be involved, you know, something supernatural. No, definitely not. White male in his 40s, what more do you need? Personally, I think labor disputes are very mysterious. Okay, so the case probably isn't mysterious, but could it- What the fudge? Who would say this? What does this even mean? This is- No, I hate this. I hate that option. I mean, labor disputes can be very mysterious. Then you are in luck, because we are in the midst of a major strike by the Dock Workers Union. Maybe more than that. The Union clearly wants a piece, not just of the industrial harbor, but the Wild Pines Corporation itself. Oh. Is this a strike then? Or the first shots in a worker's coup? I expect the case itself to be less challenging than navigating these community matters. This district isn't used to the RCM's presence, and the Union rarely overplays its hand as it appears to have done in this case. Wait, so is this a strike or strike, an attempted coup? coup? Revolution. It's brigandage, however you parse it. I see. You feel something rising through you. A familiar feeling. An opinion taken. Oh off. my goodness, we're having an opinion. Stop the presses. Holy moly. Uh, the stat page illuminates the three tiers of A, B, C, D RPG systems often reflected in dialogue Q and A's. Wait, what? Three A, B, C, D RP role-playing game system? What? 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 I, I don't fully understand that sentence, J still M. Just give me a second to reread it. A, B, C, D? The stats, the three tiers of... What? I, I'm sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't play tabletop or paper RPGs at all. Don't worry, just pick opinions. Okay, okay, I can do that. <laughs> we should ground the workers into fine paste and feed them to the pigs. No, no, don't do that. We should ground the owners into fine paste and feed them to the pigs. Okay, this is a bit too harsh still. With this little foreknowledge, I am unsure which side to grind into pig's feed. The decision must ferment in me. Also, nationalism. I don't think grounding one or the other side into pig's feed will do anyone favors. I am really, really smart. I've spent the last 20 seconds deciding on which side to ground into pig feed. Why? I don't know anything about the situation or the politics involved, so I feel like I can't form an opinion on who should be ground into pig's feed. This. This is the most accurate. Politics is habit-forming and hazardous. It is also irrelevant to police work. I don't quite or agree with that. The impulse. It might be detrimental to our task. I don't think it's... it's uh irrelevant to police work i'd say it's it's quite relevant For an imaginary fan. now was there anything else you wanted to know about the case uh can we go over the preliminary info you again brief? do you want me to brief you again oh no 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 no. There's we no got reason it reason to wing any three days ago the rcm emergency okay yes During yes yes we heard time, all this the victim had been stripped of his mega brain. cool i've heard enough okay then was there anything else you want? I have to all I need do? for now. I want to talk about you. You seem to be following me. Nothing. Let's talk about you. Me? I don't see how my life is pertinent to the investigation. We'll work better together if we have more rapport. Open up a little. You're right. What's there to know about a lame bino? What are these big words I've never heard of before? I'm not as smart as I think I am, clearly. A person who wears glasses. Okay. Jeez. We'll work better together if we have more rapport. Mm, that's a fair point. All right. For the good of the investigation, what do you want to know? You're wearing glasses? Yes. He, he probably needs them to see. You don't look like other people around here. 
Tell me a secret about yourself. Do you ever talk with yourself? That's all for now. Uh, you're wearing... Uh, you don't look like... You mean because he's Asian? Do you ever t Tell me a secret. This is so lame and, like, corporate ice-breaking BS. Sure, this what one. What do you mean? You know, when you're thinking, do you ever have conversations, like, with your I brain? I have no idea what you're talking about. The lieutenant's conceptualization skills must be rather rudimentary. Well, that's rude. You don't know that. The police officer of the old school. His concerns are material and extrinsic. But this isn't an old school case. I get it, you're one of those old school detectives, nod respectfully. So how do you, you know, tap the side of your head? So you're saying your brain never just chimes in with advice or warnings or anything? Uh, sure. I can't say that he does, no. When I need to think, I just- The lieutenant produces his- That's where his- Conversation. I see. We all have our different mediums. Yes, very this good. Is written. That's totally fine. Tell me a secret about yourself. No. Oh. Okay. The lieutenant nods. Let's not be too pushy. That's correct. You feel a slight urge to put the lieutenant down for this. What? You can't quite muster in what is wrong system. with us? Why would you have that urge? Physical instrument, legendary failure. Are you saying I would have done something to his glasses if my physical stats were higher? Because that is super duper not cool. Uh, that's correct. Just observing. Glasses are cool, I guess. Why do you need testosterone to put down someone for their glasses? I, I kind of hate myself. <laughs> Are they? They are mostly just cumbersome. You could use a good, normal pair yourself. Uh, you don't look like other people around here. Okay, this sounds a bit insensitive, but let's see. That's because I'm half Seolite or quarter. My S father's father was Seol? from Seoul. Oh, Korean. So was my grandmother, but from my mother's side. It's not an interesting topic. What is Seoul? Isn't that Korea? It's a part of the world, officer. A geopolitical entity and a geographic division. I told you it wouldn't be interesting. Seoul is a protectionist, isolationist, pan isolary state west of the Insulindian East Seoul. Oh, no. Actually, the Seoul I'm thinking of is spelled differently. It has a U. Some would Never mind. Say mysterious. Okay, I guess it's not interesting. You're only making it sound uninteresting. I still want to know about soul, seal, sail. I don't know. You're barking at the wrong tree. I don't speak a word of sailite. Okay, this is all fictional like then. Paris, and I've never been to Seoul. I'm a regular Revachelier. He seems almost proud of these things. I see. I see. He's glad to have shut down your question. Okay, that's all for now. Good. Let's change the subject. You seem to be following me. This seems rude. This seems very rude. He's like supposed to be helping me investigate, so like of course he's following me. A success would have given me a more rude option to say, okay, well that's not what we're going for this playthrough anyway. Why is to recognize the fallibility of the internal voices or subjectivity slash self-interest. I mean, at the very beginning of the game, they kind of really emphasized that to me, that, you know, all this internal dialogue and stuff is just, it's all in character in regards to our main character or our protagonist or whatever. And they're like very mean and they can be very toxic. And like, it's, it's really pushed in my face in the beginning of the game. <laughs> Uh, nothing. Like, every part of me wants to exhaust all the dialogue options, but I'm also, I think, beginning to understand that sometimes maybe you don't want to do that in this game. Okay, so can we go through the door now?
Is there a button that allows me to go through the door? Am I missing yes. something here? No way, all internal voices are always right. Or I'd need to rethink a lot of things in my life. Oh, I can't open it yet, but isn't that where I need to go to find the body? Or here? Oh, my bad, I was supposed to come here. Heap of snow melts in this wheelbarrow. The street sign reads, F the police! This is hitting a bit too hard. It's a bit too close to real life, ain't it? Pigs go home! The street name is illegible. The RCM in Martinez. Oh, beautiful what character art. You, you sound surprised? I have some questions for you. We don't see a lot of police around here. That's I have some course. questions. What can I help you with? We need of directions. Course. Where to? I'm looking for a dead oh, body. That. That's right there, in the yard. Points north. She okay. Leave. Someone has come for it. Finally. Uh. What is up in the north? What is in the east? What is in the south? What is in the? W oh my gosh. We are exhausting to talk to. There's the pier, the Cape Side apartment buildings, some more tenements. Not a lot, really. Okay. The harbor gates. Some kind of commotion, I think. I don't follow the local politics. A fleet store, too. What is a fleet store? Some shops and a bridge. The canal bridge leads to the coast, but it's broken, I think. Some kind of accident, probably. Just coast. There's a little fishing village there. And if it's just water. No, actually... I think they call it the Martinez Inlet. There are some islands. What do you mean? Uh, this is Ravishal, right? Yes, sir. District of Martinez. She's trying to be so helpful. Bless these NPCs. He just wants directions. He's uncomfortable with the level of disorientation you are displaying. Okay. No problem. Thank you, ma'am. What is this F the police business? Excuse me? She's uncomfortable. Maybe you should drop this line of questioning. Let's listen to our empathy. She shifts in her seat awkwardly. Who are you exactly? I am just a gardener. Cool, and what are you doing I'm here? Working. Working on I what? I have a greenhouse in the yard there. Okay. There's discomfort. She stops mid-sentence. I just assumed logic, etc. would never lead me astray. <laughs> I mean, okay, this is just a personal belief thing, but I, you can't just function purely on logic. As someone who, you know, used to be like that, like, oh, I'm logical, I'm super smart or whatever, like, no, that's BS. You have to have emotional sensitivity and insight into how some people may or may not jive with your own thought process and they will they may or may not behave irrationally and all that stuff and that's not logical but it's still reality and you have to account for it and etc like logic ain't everything when people don't appreciate my logic i just logically convince them they are wrong works every time and uh, it hey uh, like again logic ain't isn't everything in this world especially when it comes to human interaction Go on, it's okay. As you already know, there's a corpse there, hanging from a tree. It smells pretty bad, so I have to take breaks. Okay, that's Don't fair. Don't worry, miss. We are here to clean it up. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My head is about to explode from all the salts I've had to inhale. Oh, this poor gardener. Of course. I won't hold- Her gloves. You get the feeling that you need them. You have a dead body to deal with, after all. Um... Her gloves are probably dirty, though, from gardening. They're not going to preserve evidence or anything, because they, they've got dirt all over them. 
Those gloves aren't really my style. That was- Oh, sorry, Mischief. I can't tell from text sometimes. I just read it straight. So I'm sorry about that. You needed to clarify for me for sure. <laughs> Some great tectonic force has cracked the pavement like an eggshell. Maybe a sea monster did this to the plaza? Unlikely. The damage looks like it could have been caused by an earthquake. I see. A bench! The worn and beaten wooden planks of the bench do not look overly comforting. Hmm. We can sit on benches after we've solved the murder. You can revisit the bench if you ever need to pass the time when Lieutenant Kitsuragi is gone. Thanks, tutorial agent. So helpful. Because, by God, I really need it in this game. Before you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue and white livery, bearing the number 57. This is a janky motor carriage. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It hasn't had time to cool off yet. This must be the infernal machine that tore you from oblivion. The Cuprice Kinema motor carriage. In the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Pick up the radio, pull out the pull-out toolbox, run your fingers over one of the steering wheels, tap on the fuel preheater gauge, close the door. Um... I'm 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 hesitant to like touch anything if this is a crime scene. But then like the game play th aspect of me is like do all of the options. You got to exhaust all of the options, but I'm also like You know, let's 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 just like go let's just do the objective maybe. But then I'm like so tempted to like Oh, it's it's so distracting. Okay. No, just, just, just do the objective, jeez. You see a set of tire tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. What kind of vehicle drove through here? Reconstruct the movement. Dang. Hard to say. Your vision is blurred and you're Stupid having a concentrated cop habit. You look at every- This isn't case related, you think. Okay, let's let's leave it alone for now. An old call box with a Oh, so of many options. All the companies in the East Delta Commerce Center. Okay, okay, blah, blah, blah. let's leave for now. Let's let's just do the 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 body. I say as I investigate the trash can. You could pick them up if you had a bag. Okay, okay, let's just, uh... Oh, goodness. Kim's, uh, running frame rate is having some issues there. Is this north? Am I going north? Oh, oh, I see money on the floor. Welcome. Racist... The first word is racist. Oh, this is gonna stress me out, isn't it? It's addressed to the lieutenant because he looks Asian. Why are you addressing my partner like that? Hey, I know Ravishol, that's where we are. Never mind, let's keep moving. We'll, we'll come back. Oh, behind the broken fence, sorry. Thank you, Miss Chief. Oh my gosh, there's so many distractions. I feel like I'm playing Tears of the Kingdom. Too many things to interact with. What is this? This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, whirling in wrap. There's something in there, not necessarily connected to the case, why am I looking at you, trash container? You're just a trash container. Body first. Body first. Let's, let's... Ugh! Oh, heavens. Oh, Jesus. Oh, these poor kids. Stop, stop looking, children. Avert your eyes. 
a human being decomposes. Oh God, we the hate to see it. At you with bulging white eyes. The painting the still looks beautiful. Does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. <clears throat> his lips are fish-like, and his tongue like a ball gag. <laughs> Ew! No! Oh, I hate it. You seem to be holding your breath. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. God, what is that? Why is it so bad? Let go of your nose without throwing up. Nope. Nope. Very accurate. I would not be able to endure this. I am very squeamish and cowardly. Active decay. He took it to throw up with his arm. No one is judging. Oh, he's so helpful. Blessed Kim. He's about to blow. Cock's gonna blow, Kuno. Oh, these children. They shouldn't have to see this. Uh, let's turn away. The kid's ladder is rickety, but still climbable. The ladder's for kids. It wouldn't hold the weight of a grown man. Someone is trying to grow herbs in this greenhouse. That's the gardener lady. Magnesium. Money. Thank you. This winch mechanism has been oxidizing for some years. An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material, Etonite. What is this? Why am I looking at this pile of roofing material? What is it's this? It's nothing. Someone just left some roofing material slanted against an old shack. I don't have any healing items. Let's quick save. Okay, let's try this 42% uh, chance An skill check. An pile of the roofing material, Etonite. It's nothing. Someone just left some roof. It's nothing. Oops. Someone just left some because Damn it's it. nice orderly. Well laid pallets. Easy on the eyes. Rhythmic pattern calms your mind. Mammals like this stuff. No. There's more to this. You get this strange feeling. What Hard feeling? To say. It's gone now. Feelings pass, you see. Especially the small ones. Okay. Uh, gotta warn you, some parts of the game will be quite heavy, all artistically appropriate, but still. Yeah, I, I figure. Um, I do get that impression from this game. There's gonna be, like, mature subject matter and all of that. As long as it's not, like, explicit visual gore, you know? Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm just gonna, like, quickly spiel some background. I, I'm really bad with, like gore and like explicit violence and you know stuff like that that's why i never became someone in the medical field because i'm just far too squeamish and i'm terrible at survival horror or any kind of scary game because it will legitimately stress me out to the point of physical pain sometimes like i played resident evil 4 on stream which by the way you can check out my youtube channel which is in my links i upload gameplay vods there um, yeah, and I have my whole Resident Evil 4 playthrough up there, and I scream at, like, everything, and, like, I, I physically shake in moments of stress <laughs> during that game to the point where my entire chair rattles, and, like, my shoulders starts hurting because I'm tensed, and, like, my stomach starts hurting because I'm clenching my core so much, <laughs> and it's, it's all just stuff like that where I'm just super cowardly. Not visual gore, but the text might be evocative. Okay, we can handle descriptive text as long as I don't have to see it. <laughs> can retry yeah, failed white checks later. Got it. Left by work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve pairs have walked here. What kind Every of boots? Every worker's boots with reinforced toes and hobnails. Isn't this something an industrial worker would wear? Workers' boot tracks. Point to them. Visual calculus. Get an exact count. Sure, we'll try. 
Maybe more than cool. twelve. Cool. No. Eight pairs of boots have shuffled back and forth in the mud. Go over them one by one. one. Standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 46. Two. Standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 44. Three. Dang, we're really good Hot at this investigative work. thing. Steel reinforced toes. Four. Standard work boot. Number 45 or 46. Wait, which is it? Uh, okay, we want to clarify if it's 45 or 46, or we continue counting. Uh, let's clarify. You don't know. It's a miracle you can tell the prince apart. Yes, I, I recognize that. Must have preserved. Five. Another standard work boot. Steel mm -hmm. Six. An aberration. Light as air. Even pace. Same make of boot, but number 41. Interesting. So a lady? Could a lady have been here? Impossible to tell. Could also have been an adolescent. The gate is undeveloped. I'm pretty good at this, ain't I? You're not bad. It's <laughs> as if the whole world... I does. concur. <laughs> Everything else has a thin film of unimportance on it. And the tracks burn in the middle of it. This is it's why I'm a detective. Way. Seven. The glowing outline of a standard work boot. Number 46. But the imprints are twice as deep as the others. The weight exceeds... 200 kilograms mm. eight and yet another standard work boot number 44 there's an the aberration right soul in the pattern smoother, of the sole however the right sole is smoother more worn how many oh he knows what we're doing eight i was pretty off then i counted 20. the same guys are going back and forth way off way no don't be like that i never got the hang of it Hyperopia. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? Uh, light step number 41, a heavy one, 200 kilogram imprint, an aberration. One soul is smoother than the other. How old do you think these tracks are? Uh, I guess we can do all of them. A woman or a kid? Could be a woman, could be a kid. I don't think there's any way to be sure. Understood. Anything else? Heavy one. 200? Could it be the combined weight of two people, one carrying the other who's tied up? Huh? Say a heavily built worker carrying a similarly built, soon to be dead man. Oh, didn't think of that. He might be right. 200 kilograms of living weight is unlikely. One of them was carrying him. Maybe it was a giant. It could have been an extremely obese person. It's more likely, I think, that one of them was carrying him. Possibly, yes. But why? Why did they have to carry him? Yes, they could have used the makeshift stretcher or just march him up to the gallows. The victim refused to walk to his own lynching. The victim wasn't conscious. Our reading of these prints could be wrong. Um, maybe he wasn't conscious. I feel like this one is more likely. Because if he refused to walk, there would be a struggle, possibly, and you might still see evidence of a struggle. Even easier to carry on a stretcher, or between two men. Anyway, it's for future consideration. Okay. What else can you see? Aberration. Let's name it the old soul. Someone operating a workbench with a pedal? Like a joiner at the harbor. Or maybe a drummer? Huh. He regrets it. The moment he says it. A drum. We didn't see a drum set at the bar, did we? A drummer? That's stupid. Don't say that. So one of the people we are looking for is a drummer. Un probably unlikely. Maybe. Possibly. Don't say anything. Just nod. Yes. I don't know why I said that. We are not looking for a drummer. We are. I mean, you never know. He might have hobbies. <laughs> Maybe this dock worker does drumming on his spare time. Perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear out the right shoe before the left. The accelerator is on the right. Nod thoughtfully. I was actually thinking the exact same thing. Interesting, if only I had come up with that idea. 
I mean, I wasn't thinking that. Interesting, if only I... Let's nod thoughtfully. We should keep our eyes open around the traffic jam. See whether anyone strikes out as a potential suspect. Seems prudent, no? I'm not sure. We don't want to attract too much attention. Yes, prudent. Mm -hmm. How old do you think these tracks are? Seven days would fit the time frame provided to us by the caller who reported. It is not impossible. It is not impossible that it is a week. Yeah, that makes sense. I pulled last week's forecast for coastal Havashon. Seven days below freezing. The day before, the day of his hanging, was the last one day. Oh. Correct again. Sub-zero temperatures would preserve the tracks in a good state. The commotion here could have taken place a week ago. What do you think happened what here? Do I think a mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. One of them was carrying the victim. They shuffled around, especially under the tree. Then, after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. At first glance, this appears to be a lynching. Indeed. They all stood in a row here and looked at the tree. Yes, everything fits so well. You carried him over, hoisted him up, watched him hang. This is easy. Oh, oh, let's not get too cocky now. It's, it's not that easy. <laughs> Isn't it strange to have your assumptions confirmed like this? This is what someone whispering suggestions in your ear would like you to feel. Uh, we should withhold being content. I think we have a firm understanding of what happened here. Uh, I mean, there are a lot of other possibilities still. Uh, we should withhold being content. There's... Yeah. The lieutenant is saying something, but he can't hear it. Our tie is talking to us again. Like what? Withhold being content? What are you? Mild to moderately disabled? That doesn't feel like something you should do. What is wrong with our necktie? Live a little. Everything on the damn crime scene fits like a glove. You should get shit based on this damn crime scene. I like how vivid my interior is, but could we maybe do something that doesn't involve getting drunk? I'll find a way to get drunk on the scene. I swear to God, I will. This is not how vivid I want my inner life to be. I just want to get back to solving the crime now. I I I, I don't understand what kind of interaction is going on mentally in my head. Let's. Let, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get back to solving the crime. Shut up, fuck midget. What the fudge? I don't like my necktie. My necktie is very, very mean. It's, it's unnecessary. I have no idea what's going on here, but you should not do anything that the horrific necktie tells you to do. Clearly. Um, detective? Uh, everything fits. We should celebrate by getting absolutely under the hammer in this. No. I'm experiencing a mild malfunction, Lieutenant. Something to do with my tie. It'll pass. Can you hold on for a moment? Yes, this is much more tempered. The Lieutenant looks at you curiously. The Lieutenant doesn't understand what's happening right now. You're twisting at your tie, looking sweaty even by your standards. He needs to say something. I agree. <clears throat> Our assumptions could be wrong. Better not to have them confirmed just yet. Do you see anything else? We've been through all of it. God, I don't like our necktie. It is overly mean to us. Kuno's got this. Uh, I think the necktie is such a weird part of the soul, the hero couldn't even describe it as a normal feeling. I mean, like, I don't know if he tried to do, like, kill himself with the necktie or something in his room, so I don't know if the necktie is, like, a metaphor for some of our, like, Nasty thoughts towards ourselves, maybe. I don't know. But it's being really mean to us. Just saying. <laughs> if there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness. Like a gremlin. A gremlin like me. <laughs> oh yeah, Nappa Kumpi, Kuno! What, what, what is Nappa Kumpi? Uh, hey kid, a word. Police business. A moment of your time, please. I'm not getting into this right now. A moment of your time, please. Talk, pig. Shit's coming up strong. Throwing rocks. Shit coming up strong. 
That sounds good. Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. Juicy what now? Never mind. I mean drugs. The kid's on drugs. Oh! Well, well, thank you for clarifying that for me, game, because that sailed right over my head. I did not recognize that at all. Wait, how do we know? Oh, you know what? Just, just, just go with it. Just go with it. Thanks, electrochemistry. They're 12, though? That's depressing. Oh, oh. Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a guy. Let, let's not throw the rake at it. What should we do? Are you kids siblings? Kid, you want to hang out? I'm not a narc. That's exactly what a narc would say. Look, I have questions for you. Kim, what should we do? We shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. What forces? You will see. The language these kids are using. Pure, unfettered id. There will be no reasoning with those creatures. Are you kids siblings? The fuck are you talking about? They're really out of it. What? What? No, I didn't say that! Oh my gosh! Heaven forbid! No, I did not say that! I just asked an innocent question! I am- I, I'm so uncomfortable. Alright, entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. The body, what do you know about it? About the crime scene you kids often play in this yard? Right, pig. This is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo-choo. What do you want with it? Uh, the ladder ever climb it? What's in the greenhouse over there? I was wondering about that trash container. There's a stack of Eternite back there. What is Eternite? I might have some questions later. For now, let's talk about something else. Ever climb the ladder? Look at that fucking shit! You're trying to get Kuno killed! So would you say it is unclimbable? Kuno, no. Kuno's not a fucking acrobat. The lieutenant takes a quick note in his note. It's a trap, Kuno! Don't climb it, Kuno! Kuno S? What's in the greenhouse? Kuno? Kip Dash Gardener used to work there. Kip is a pejorative term used to describe people of South Seminese or Eriopagite descent. It used to be a common first name among the Eriopagites of Ilmara. Not so much anymore. Oh my gosh, I need a glossary of terms for this game. Uh, the gardener used to work there? Yeah, that's what Kuno said. She couldn't handle the heat, so she took off. Kuno can take it. Shit, nothing to Kuno. Huh. This kid's face, eek. I mean, all of the- all of the paintings, all of the art in this game is still beautiful to me. It's- all I can see is the artistry behind the work. Eternite was the boards that blocked the entrance into the shack. Thank you, Mischief. You're so helpful. Look, Kuno doesn't explain shit. Kuno just says shit. Agreed. Yeah, her. What okay. was she doing in the greenhouse in March anyway? What kind of gardening is done in March? Uh, let's ask her yes, about that. It seems suspicious. You don't like things being like that. Suspicious. Don't be wondering about Kuno's shit, pig. Uh, I have a strong hunch. There's something of importance in it, something I must find. Enough about this, Kuno. I've got other matters to address. Does Kuno care about your hunch? That's your shit. You figured it out. Okay. That's just some shit roofing gimps left behind, lazy dinks. There it is. That strange feeling again. As if there was more than meets the eye about that pile of roofing material. You can't hide it, I see without vision with my inner eye. So you say, but I saw past the veil. Uh, yes, yes, some um, shit gimps left behind were those gimps left-handed. Don't I have a normal thing to say? Hold on, hold on, I need to understand what I'm trying to say here. Uh, that's just some lazy stuff gimps left behind? 
Uh, so you say you can't hide it. What, what does left-handed have to do with anything? I'm a bit perturbed because I too am left-handed, so I feel a little attacked. Pass the veil. Sure. I, I don't know. Just try to get him to say more stuff. Well. The They're trying to make you feel stupid, Coon. You glance again at the roofing material in front of the shack. Okay, okay. Understood. I will go back yeah, there. Whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. Uh, what do you know about it? Pig. Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno. My gosh, these kids are crass. Uh... Help me if out I here. If I were to want to waste my time, which I do not, I would ask them who he is, how he got there, and the usual. The usual being. Have you seen anything? I don't think I've ever seen the task about asking the gardener. Must be an uncommon path. Oh, I'm sure this game has many, many, many paths. I can see it now, but we're just winging it. Transformers, more than meets the eye. Robots in disguise. Uh, do you know who he was? Do you know how he got up there? Have you seen anyone suspicious? All of the things. Kuno's book gimp. What? Kuno uses the book gimp for target practice. A, a, a what? He's trying to hide the fact that he doesn't know. Drama? Who he was before he died. Kuno knows what you meant. Kuno's not a snitch, that's all. Trying to make Kuno sing into the popo phone. Probably climbed. Kuno was busy down the road. You heard Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revishop. Where did you I go? Don't know. Some fucking. Oh boy. Mesco, or, I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Okay, that's clearly Kuno a lie. There is no Night City anywhere. That sounds like the name of a city in some pulp science fiction novel. Where is Night City? Why you gotta be riding Kuno's ass? You have you wanna know where Kuno was? You wanna know Yes. Tell him that Kuno! It's, it's not fucking lame. Kuno's building, Kuno City. Na lame That's the name of Kuno City, bitch. Oh my gosh. This These children. It's impossible to deduce what it is about, at least for the moment. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Sniffing around. Okay. Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno. There are so many words in this game that I just... What? Looks like you're a fagari now. Whatever that means. I'm so glad there's Very voice acting so I don't have to say these words really myself. In <laughs> You're testing Kuno's pay- Get lost! <sighs> Goodness. Oh, gosh. Uh, who is Kuno? Kuno's Kuno pig? It's always Kuno, never I. Clearly the kid's using the third person perspective as a shield. Uh to distance yourself from the situation. Sure, this is a bit confrontational, but let's do it. Kuno doesn't do that smart shit. Don't try to get Kuno hooked on the boy knows he has an addictive personality. Admirable insight for his age. Watch out, Kuno! He's trying to fiddle you! He's gonna put his hands on you! Huh? Help! Pig's got Kuno! Help! Ray! What the fudge? Oh, oh! What? Help! He's got the Kuno, help! Just answer the questions. Oh my gosh, I- oh, I can't. I can't- I do not even want to comment. Absolutely oh, not. He's digging his dick out. What the fudge? Escalate, Kuno! His dick is out! You're afraid! Oh, I hate these children. Pigs in there, Kuno! Somebody, please! How did we get here? How did this happen? This makes no sense. I'm like- I'm like on the verge- My Just chest hurts. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Who put you up to this? Are you high right now? Shut him down. Don't punch him. It's a bad idea. B 
Be logical, kid. I haven't done anything to you. What is this sick charade? We know what this is. Who put you up to this? Are you high right now? It's very clear they are. Who put you up to this? Let's see if we can shift the blame onto someone else and if that will resonate with them. No one? Kuno's doing this because he likes it, P. This is where Kuno establishes dominance over you. Change of plan. You can't let that happen. It will make things harder down the line. You may end up missing crucial information. Help! The pig's stabbing him! Kuno can't speak! Back off. Someone put you up to this. What is this six- uh, I don't really know. I don't know how to deal in this situation because obviously I've never- I've never been in a situation like this. This is very challenging for me to think about what the best way to deal with this is. Because I'm still trying to have empathy for these clearly damaged children. Someone put you up to this? You put him up to this yourself when you decided to talk to him. In Listen to your friend? Jeez. Okay, I don't think any of these people did this. Help! <laughs> the RCM is trying to fuck Kuno in the ass! S sweat smelling of laundry detergent? What the fudge? Uh, they have no capacity to be logical. Help! Mister! He's having the time of his life. So He's flashing Kuno! He's showing his genitals! If you don't help Kuno now, it'll be too late! Oh, I don't think any of these dialogue options are gonna help. Look. For emphasis, a ghost is saying this. A shit-eating psychopathic ghost. With an ace I'm so side. uncomfortable. I know you wanted to hit me. You got that? I'm gonna fuck that Kuno up look. The there Kuno's it is. There it is. There's the trauma. The rage look. His dad. Of course it's his dad. Relax. He can't read your mind. He doesn't know you were thinking that. There's a dead body. Remember, that's what you were doing here. You're a cop on a case. I didn't act on it, it was just a fantasy. How do I get back to it? I want to go back to that thought. How do you know that? You can't see inside my head. Can you read my mind, Kuno? Why don't we get back to the interview, Kuno? Uh... Oh, this is actual dialogue. No, don't tell him that. Do not tell him it was just a fantasy. Why don't we get back? How do you know that? I mean, this is very logical, but they don't understand logic. Okay, let's I just. I know what you thought. I'm gonna fuck that Kuno up. I'm gonna shut that shit down. You know what? You should have. You're nothing. Get a joke to Kuno. Kuno laughs at you. Okay, sure. Backing up was a bad idea. Now he thinks he's established dominance over you. Kuno turned you into his prison bitch. You're gonna be in this shit with- No, you're not. We can just leave. Bitch, you're gonna be in this shit with Kuno forever! A peepo is a type of hat, by the way. Thanks, Encyclopedia, because I had no idea what was happening. <sighs> nice peepo. Nice hat. You don't talk to me about my fucking peepo! You don't know where I come from! You just- Okay. Kuno is kind to his bitch. Ask your questions, but remember, this changes shit. Huh? Click, 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 click! Figure out what's going on with this kid. I need super duper high empathy to do this. I really want to try, I gotta say. But it sounds like we're gonna fail. Kuno doesn't fucking care. 
Oh, that was exhausting. That was just one dialogue string and I'm tired. So tired. Uh, I wish I had enough empathy. Kuno, the pig's getting pretty close to me. Come to snuff my shit out, I think. Uh, let's not. Let's not do that. Let's go look at these boards again, how about? An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material. Hi. Because Inland Empire said come back. Because there's a secret door hidden behind the panels of Etonite. That's why they're too orderly. There okay. it is. You see a shabby little door. Cool, let's go in the door. Wonder if not punching Kuno is an achievement? I didn't see any achievements pop up. I don't want to hurt the children. They are extremely, extremely damaged. Because he, he let some of that slip with his dad. What is this, then? A tool shed? Let's investigate. Oh my gosh, we get a break from the terrible, terrible children. Oof. An empty tube of Magnesola Magnesium Supplement. Oh! Oh shoot, that exited somewhere. Wait, no, 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 go back, go back. I need to look at everything. Cured pig's head, it looks mummified. Creepy. Silver plate with traces of bone yellow powder. Is this where they're doing their drugs? Be still, my beating heart. It's amphetamine. Sweet amphetamine. Okay, I'm guessing it's a drug. The lieutenant isn't studying the powder in the mirror. He's studying you. There's a good vague way to ask where he stands on drug use. Professionally, I mean. Someone has taken narcotics here. Perhaps the police should interfere. I wasn't thinking about taking it. I swear, I was thinking about justice. I've heard amphetamines make you a really good detective. Are you a really good detective? No. No, let's not do that one. That's pure BS. Yeah, Perhaps that one. not. This is below our pay grade, detective. However, see that ladder there? It's probably another way into the industrial harbor, no? The secret path the local kids used. Get out of the way or get effed up. Oh, money. Oh my gosh, point four zero. We're gonna take forever to get to 100. I'm guessing maybe Lena, the really nice lady, would have given us some money, but I, I can't. I, I feel I would feel so bad asking her for money after I like nearly killed her. What is happening? I just selected the jacket and can I not just investigate? These barrels are half full of rainwater. What's that thing over there? I can't seem to select it. Oh, I have to go up there to investigate the jacket. Okay, I understand, game. I understand. The jacket is far away. The doorway is going to collapse soon. That seems dangerous. Restoration pillars keep the ruins together. Postcard. Uh, this postcard depicts an ill-advised residential area overlooking the Jamrock Quarter. 13-story buildings lying the hillside like sarcophagi and ominous fog already rising from behind. These are the last boom years. In 39, the project fails catastroph catastrophically, leaving behind an opiate and hepatitis B infested slum. Oof. Ugh. Everything is so dingy and sad.
money. I take the money. Okay, how do I go up over here? Yay, healing item. I need those. Let's do a quick save. I should I should add a channel points award for quick save. I'm going to do that for next stream. So so I can get some help on remembering. Thank goodness for all this spare change. Oh, I can't reach that yet. Okay. I also can't reach that yet. Okay. I don't know, do a lot of people end up punching Kuno or something? I really wanted to try that max empathy thing, but I know we're just gonna hurt ourselves. I don't want to hurt ourselves. Oh, there's like some music happening. Or some ambience. Can I go there? There's like an opening in the in the debris. No, I can't go there. Curses. You can zoom out to see more. It's tempting to punch. Oh, thank you. I forgot about that, Miss Chief. All of your reminders are very helpful, thank you. Try the jacket again. Oh man, this like, auto walk thing. So slow. Let's leisurely amble our way up there. Looks like someone left his tarpaulin cloak hanging on the railing here. Look, Lieutenant! Someone left his cloak behind. Yes. Probably yours. It bears the RCM insignia, and you have a habit of being careless with your equipment. You could probably make the jump. You look like you've done so. Oh no, we're gonna fail. Look around. What exactly are we doing up here? Do you really think this cloak is mine? Should I go for it? Jump, go for the cloak, jump over the ledge. We're gonna hurt ourselves. Yeah, not right now. The wind is aggressive up here. The lieutenant looks at the enormous crane towering in the distance over the container yard. Wow, this is huge. Eyes, is a mix of the engineer-like interest and the wonder of a six-year-old seeing a horse for the first time. He's interested in the machinery. Maybe that's something he wanted to do. That's a huge crane. It's just a machine lieutenant, like a giant hammer, a pair of pliers. Nothing to see here. Let him have his moment. Let him have his moment of wonder. Gosh. His eyes trace the crane's contour, as if trying to memorize its majestic shape. Then he notices your gaze. Yes. We were in the middle of something. No, it's okay, Kim. Uh, what exactly are we doing up here? What are we doing? We're awfully close to breaking into the industrial harbor. Or it could be that we are just exploring. He's thinking you've forgotten where you are again. Should I go for Don't. it? I do think it's yours, yes. As well, it doesn't seem too dangerous. The cloak looks like a bag of goodies floating in the wind. Who knows what its pockets may hide. Dang it, they're tempting me. I know it's got things in it, it's got goodies in it, it absolutely does, but my physicality is so low. It's a white one, we can try it again later, right? Yeah, not right now. My physical abilities are not up to it. I can't select that thingy all the way over there. I can't select that thingy either. Okay, what else can we interact with? I guess that's it for up here? Without work, I am nothing. Freet? Sick? Okay, maybe we have to go back down. 
Oh, I wish to I wish to get my cloak, but not athletic enough. Well, we quick saved. Let's just give this 8% a shot. Our measly 8%. Who knows? Maybe a miracle will happen. Cuz we quick saved. Just making sure cuz I'm paranoid. How do I get up again? I feel like this is Final Fantasy 7 the original again where I'm struggling to see where the pathways are. Tarpaulin cloak. The wind is aggressive up here. Oops, 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 oops. Yes, that's one way of putting it. It certainly is. Oops, oh, I'm, I'm, uh... But I digress. We were focusing on your cloak here. Sorry, I, I mashed through some dialogue. Okay. 8%! Oh dear. We're gonna kill ourselves. Oh, our, inhib our inhibitions no, stopped us. No, that's still too high. <laughs> what were you thinking? You're not a gymnast, you're a boxer. And you've climbed way too high up there. Right, I can't do it right now. I'll make the jump next time. Oof. Sure. Just be careful, okay? Looks like you almost strained a muscle there. Well, that was to be expected. It was it was interesting to see what happened, I guess. Okay, let's go back down. Go back down. Go back down. Okay, we saw that, we saw that, I, I don't know if talking with the kids is going to be helpful for us. I'm guessing there's nothing new to be said. Need legendary empathy. Oh, it's minus one because we backed down already, damn it. I found your shack. You found Kuno's secret door to Kuno's secret shack. It was closed for 5,000 years. How the fuck did you get in? I pushed the panels aside. I phase shifted through the roofing material. Before you go on with that, let's talk about how you said it was just some roofing material. That was a lie. Uh... I don't... Th I... Are these... I don't feel like these two are very helpful. But if we get confrontational, he's just gonna do, like, gross stuff again. I phase shifted through the roofing material. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. You can't do that, coon. Pigs can't displace. Can't do that teleport shit. How did you like it in there, pig old boy? Kuno's got a lot of cool shit there, right? What was with the pig head? I found a plate covered with powder residue. Know anything about it? What's with the tube of magnesolum, Kuno? Is that my coat up there? I'm pretty sure it's mine. Could I get into the harbor from the roof? Um... Like, confront them about the drugs? Oh, let's just do everything. How's that? Kuno decapitates pigs. That's just a Kuno demo tape. Were you trying to send me a message of some sort, demo tape, like some kind of musician? Cool pig head, I liked it, I got one too. It's, it's shit, forget it, I'm not saying those things. I f oh, this one might resonate with him, because it's, it's like you're agreeing with his uh, politics here. What? Eh. What is this shit? Fucking on yourself. This is weird level shit. He doesn't what understand. Fuck your shit back to normal. What is this? They're so confused by my self-deprecation. <laughs> They're like, what? What? You're you're piling on yourself? I don't understand. Brain brain doesn't function. <laughs> well played. No one saw that coming. 
Oh, yay, thank you. I'm trying. <laughs> That's where Kuno gets his daily hit of electric. Kuno Shazam. Kuno rides the fucking lightning in My there. brain is working so hard trying to play this game. I bet you'd like to ride the lightning too, wouldn't you? You feel tired and old, but you could have that sparkle in your eyes. Nope, let's ignore that thought. It's a vitamin pig. Don't you know anything? You could use some. Uh, it's magnesium, right? Yeah, it's the mag- You fucking need that shit to stay on top of your game. Kuno goes through like a tube a day, rips mag like a motherfucker, and you- What is mag? Oh, ma magnesium, sorry. Oh, don't teach him, Kuno! He's gonna use it against you, Kuno! I know all about magnesium. I rock it all the time. It's just magnesium. Don't mystify it. Sure, I rock it all the time. I don't know. You're not getting this pig. It completely takes away the hangover. It's like you didn't do anything. Like you stayed home playing with your choo-choo. Fuck you, pig. Don't do mag. You're gonna OD and you're gonna fucking die. Oh, so you're concerned about me now. We're we're flip flopping like crazy here. Is it? You got pretty fucked. Kuno surprised you've still got your head after all that. After all what? Don't sweat it, drunk pig. Kuno will keep your nasty secrets. Kuno's not snitching. He's saying you climbed up there. He probably saw you do it. Yeah, yeah. tell me more. That conclusively explains how the coat got up there. Can I get into the harbor? Fucking can. How do you think Kuno made all the docky boys his gimps? Just got a fly pig. I tried that. It didn't Kuno go so knows. well. Kuno and C saw you shit yourself. It's okay, pig. Not everyone can face the fear. Kuno. They're time. being like oddly sympathetic now. Good call, pigmeister. Don't come and talk to Kuno about his kingdom. Uh, let's talk about your shack again. More questions about the crime scene. This game broke my brain in a good way, helped me understand what the heck art is. I mean, there's certainly a lot of art in this game. Kuno doesn't. All right, all right, let's let's move on. I, I'm sure we can do more with Kuno and Kuno S, but uh, yeah, let's look at other things. An old call box with a matrix of push buttons lists all the companies in the east. Delta I have no Commerce idea what, how any of this uh, how any of this will help us right now. Maybe we need more info first. I I don't know. There's so much to do. This Postla Vantorie mail collection box has been heavily vandalized with graffito. A closer inspection reveals two bullet holes in the front. Good mail delivery box. Kim's gonna be like, what the fudge? The box seems happy. Yay, it I'm glad. Pig, fucked by the coon and sent G with a crown have been scribbled on it. Jenny is a whore and best set mailbox also uh been there mail collection box been there i feel you mail collection box the mail collection box seems cathartic thankfully even so do you you shudder then you swallow let's not kick the 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 mailbox This book has a rose, a pistol, and a half-naked dame on its cover. On the cover stands a very muscular man surrounded by flames. Hello, sir. Step right in. The store is open. Hello. Are you interested in a new and exciting book? Uh... Is it okay if I ask you okay, some questions? Sir. I'll try to answer any questions you have. I hope they're about books. What is your name? My name is Annette, sir. My mum, her name is Plaisance. She owns the store. She's inside, minding the register, or organizing the stock. Feel free to step in and browse our wares. You're standing out here I'm because the store is open. Otherwise, people might not know. 
they'd miss out on the crime romance uh, can I give one in small before. stats hint for sure mischief go ahead a sudden gush of wind turns the pages of the books on the counters she covers her face smiling but she's cold uh, you're cold. Can I help in some way? I should have a word with the store owner, maybe. Such a good trooper you are, already learning the value of hard work. Pat her head. No, let's not- let's not touch her. I could help by brutally dismantling the free market. You're cold. Can I- I mean, what can we do for her? We've got nothing. Maybe Kim can help her, if anything. We can get Kim to help her. Uh, your health is just one. If you want more, put points into endurance when you level up. They don't explain it well either. Oh, thank you, Mischief. I will keep that in mind. Should I ever get points or something? I don't think we're there yet. <laughs> good to know, good to know. Thank you. Kind of you to offer, sir. What could you do to help her? In exactly. What could I do? I have nothing. Uh, I should have a word with the store oh, no, owner, maybe. No, sir. I'm happy to help Mum by luring in customers. Besides, I have some hot juice in my vacuum bottle to keep warm. Uh, shouldn't you be at school? What is this crime business? What is romance? Who are these famous people? Shouldn't you be at school or something? At home at the moment. I have to help Mum keep this. Oh no, going. she's homeschooled. Oh dear. School is stupid. You're lucky not to be there. What is school anyway? Isn't going to school more important Mom than this? It's necessary to do both because it builds character. Mum says a proper worker is dutiful. That's how you get ahead in life. You succeed. Um Okay, she's she's not wrong about the first part, but being a proper worker is not necessarily how you succeed. There is stress and unease behind these. She's words. reciting etiquette. She's reciting. Yes, etiquette. sounds about right. How's the business Mom says going? It's Peachy. She was a little afraid at first. There's talk about this house being cursed. Behind her, the window has been boarded up. You sense the boards creaking, twisting for a second, and some kind of doubt in her tense shoulders. Cursed in what way? Good to hear that it's going well. I'm sure there's nothing to work cursed in cursed what way. Cursed in the way that makes them say that no business has ever really thrived here, sir. That they all go... Bankrupt? Exactly. But we've been doing fine so far. I don't think curses are rare. This sounds rather serious. I should probably look into this. I don't think curses are real. They shouldn't be, but they seem real. Anyhow, they say that these grounds are doomed for businesses. It's just regular trading and selling of things, child. It doesn't work out for most people. They're not doomed, but your mother should learn from their mistakes. This is a bit more optimistic. Of course, sir. Um... What is this crime business? Crime fiction is about murders or burglaries or things like that. And the work of a policeman or a private detective who's trying to solve a crime and catch the criminals. Uh... I need to know what crime- Okay, I know what crime is. Why would anybody want to read about crime? Okay, I get it. Crime murder gets- Yes, this. I get it. Crime murder does get people going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's kind of like a puzzle, too. You can guess who the criminal is. Or how the good guys are gonna catch him. I am a policeman myself, don't by the look way. Much like a policeman. Uh what does a cop look like then? Okay, then maybe I'm not a policeman or should stop being one. Okay, this this sounds a bit touchy, a bit defensive. Didn't mean to offend, sir. Sorry, sir. It's just that you don't look like Dick Mullen. Uh she points to a book cover. Where, on which you see a strapping Vespertine officer, he stands grimly over the body of a dead woman. I used to be exactly like that Mullen guy, then I decided to live a little. Nobody actually looks like that guy in the picture, that's just a stupid fantasy of a man. That's, that's mean, Let, let's not say that to the little girl. It's not your body that's important in police work anyway, it's your head. Look at the guy, I'll never be as good as Mullen. I actually had other questions. I mean, your body is important. You do have to take care of your physicality, of which I have not. My gosh, Sabrina, like, listen to yourself every now and then. Um, I'll never be as good as... 
I don't want, don't, don't like make the girl reassure the full grown man. Let's not do that. Let's not self deprecate ourselves so badly in front of her. I, uh, I actually had other questions. Sure. More about books, maybe? It's the type of book where there's a rich lady and she has to choose between the good man and the bad man. She imagines herself in that situation, like a lot of little girls All would do. A story about a poor lady getting a rich man. It's about man and lady business, sir. Okay. What about a poor man getting a rich lady? What about when both of the men are bad? What about when everyone is poor? What about a book where the man and lady business doesn't work out at all? That's enough romance for me. I had other questions. What about a poor man getting a rich lady? It happens, but usually the guy gets rich in the process. Or should actually be rich himself, but has lost his family property unjustly, like during the revolution or something. Those are unhappy books for most of the pages. People sad about what they have lost, but then it all turns out just fine in the end. I see. What about when both These of the men are, are bad? Very common. You can't have a choice between bad and bad. Nobody wants to read a story like that. But what if it's written really oh, well? <laughs> maybe then it's fine. Maybe if the lady then decides not to pick either, because she doesn't need a bad man. Yes, that would be interesting. Agreed, Annette. What about when everyone it's is really poor? Not a proper romance story. That's more like everyday life. Sometimes you have to write about real life things. Yeah, poor people are boring. No, no, let's not say that. Not in romance books, sir. These are oh, about it's nice raining and outside. People, and everyone is happy in the end. I haven't read many of those. Maybe you should ask mom. Let's not say that one. That seems insensitive. Mm -hmm. I'm sure she can help out. Maybe other questions. Other Who are these famous oh, people? Kings and queens and generals of old. Oh, I think that's why people read them. Seems like most people who read those books fail to get more famous from reading them. Reading those doesn't make the readers more famous, does it? Uh, no, it doesn't. See you around. A book about pate. This book you don't really understand what it is about, nor does it seem important. A book about, oh gosh, Boyadero culture. It promotes freedom and roaming upstream. A book about the future. The government reads your mind using radio technology. All right, go in the bookstore. Oh, so much to look at. Gift books and molten candy. Old sports magazines tucked away in a dark corner. A small mountain of colorful board game boxes. There are numerous types of games for all ages. A lot of shelf space seems to be taken up by Wirral related merchandise. What is Wirral? Look through the pile of Wirral related items. Of source books, law books, and codices litter the table. The topmost book is titled Welkin Compendium, second edition. There's also a large hardbound tome with intricate cover art The Hunters of Catawat. Oh, goodness, Boreal there was thunder Hunter just Compendium. now. And a pick your path adventure game book titled Books in a Board Game Section. Who wants to read books? Anything that really catches my eye? Maybe I'm not into all this binoclard stuff. Well, that's rude. There's a box that says We're out. Third edition mega setting supplements module. The side panel notes a fantastic adventure board game. Is this like an allusion to the origins of this game, since it was like a, a tabletop game? That price is steep, but then it's the third edition mega set in supplement, so it makes sense. I want to buy the world. I'm too poor. Uh, Wonderful board games, sir. The Viticulturist is a classic for sure, or perhaps you'd like Archipelagos of Insulinda. A very educational game for those interested These in board jobs. games seem far too complicated for children. Albritta is a fun game of economic competition, but can get quite intense. She's a board game nerd. She is absolutely a board game nerd. You can play with your children. 
Who are you going to play board games with? Do you have friends? Wow, I have children? A family? Doubt it. Do I have friends? Look at the lieutenant. I don't want to think about this. Do I have friends? Are you actually friends? Or just colleagues thrown together? Look at me. Who'd friends? want to have children with me? I don't feel as if I have any kids. Yes, kids, friends, chicks. I have all those. I don't feel as if I have any kids. Friends are technically like family. For playing with friends, I'd recommend Suzerainity. It's a civilization building game where you build a civilization, then set off to brutally colonize and repress other civilizations. Gosh. Twelve real. This is definitely a board game I've played before. <laughs> this is absolutely an illusion. This is 21st century. You gotta have some metafiction. Yes. You can buy the Suzerainty board game and actually play it with Kim. But I'm too poor, because I didn't ask for money from Lena. Oh well, maybe in a future playthrough, I don't know. Lousy auras there. No, role-playing games are popular among those types. You know, who are into those kind of things. Personally, I don't like it. Not at all. You're not endorsing your product very well, Playsense. I've heard they turn people into occult enthusiasts. Oh gosh. They have rituals where they try to summon entities. Highly immoral stuff. Or is she you talking about D and D? Is this like talking about how you know D and D was considered satanic at some point? Is it still? Con I don't know if it's still considered. It's it's definitely more mainstream now. Thanks, autosave. Okay, we'll talk to Placence. Crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. My name is Placence. Be welcome, and please take responsibility for the energy you bring into this space. Before we go on, you seem to be well off enough. Can you give me some money? I feel there won't be an opportune moment to ask later. Are you the owner of the store? I am. The proudest owner of our little shop of culture. What if I want to buy a book? The girl outside mentioned that this place is cursed. Your daughter is the one standing outside the store, right? Farewell for now. Goodness, you were already doing good, browsing the shelves. Why do you stop? Don't you feel compelled? Go, go, get back there. Everything is on the shelves. Take a look. She's okay. attempting to mentally direct you towards the shelves. She only wants you to buy the goods. She doesn't care about the books. Okay, so her daughter is the one who cares about the books. Truth be told, not really. My sister, but you don't learn about the important things in life from fabricated stories. Um. The truth is available if you just know where to look, and you have to open and free your mind to understand. She smiles and nods, seemingly relieved. Annette, yes, my daughter. I hope she wasn't slacking off again with her nose in science fiction. I don't no, like this lady. She at her post doing her job like a it's a satanic girl. panic reference, got it. Doesn't matter, now tell me. Yes, she was doing her job. Wonderful. Did you talk to her? Yes. Great. On a scale of one to ten, how compelled were you to buy books after Oh my her? gosh, I hate this lady. You're an awful mom. Her opinion of her daughter depends on how well she lured you into the store. She's certainly very polite and helpful. I felt some interest. Not impressed. I'm not going to grade a human being. I don't do that. I mean, okay, we're not above grading human beings. That's just intrinsically something human beings do. Ten, she's very polite my and helpful. Precious. Her dedication brings joy to my heart. If you have children, I hope they turn out as great as my Annette. The way you're handling her strikes me as wrong. Annette is quite the trooper. She's a great value add. I'm here to dismantle the free market and abolish child labor. <laughs> I want to say that. I really do. I really, really do. She's not going to take well to this. It's like really none of our business in, you know, most in, in human society. People would say it's none of your business. Uh, she's great value add. I don't want to speak of her in regards to a, a, in terms of like a commercial asset. 
let's just say this because I want to say this. I would want to say this. I just wouldn't have the guts to say this, but this is not. This character has the guts to say it. You must be kidding. There's nothing like that happening. Depends. How much do you pay the kid? Good, sir. What does a young child do with money anyway? No, I save it for her as a fund. She's securing her financial future out there. Such Skeptical. Such behavior would not happen in more developed countries. In some more developed countries, this sort of thing is two felonies. Child labor and slavery. Oh, I guess I was mistaken. We're in it. We're gonna- we're, we're in it. We're gonna keep going. Those countries will realize they've raised a lazy and spoiled generation. Are we done with the jokes now? Wow, she's not at all angry at the insinuation. Yes, we've had quite enough fun here. Right. <sighs> the way you're handling her strikes me as wrong. She's cold. Yes. Mind your own business, sir. There we go. In our society, people there we go. It's, it's exactly as I children. speculated. It's none of your Denial is the way she copes with criticism. The woman before you scans the store, her shoulders rigid and tense. Every now and then, she nudges her glasses. Cursed? Who said that? Annette? I will have a word with her. This place is not cursed. What in God's name is she talking about? Doesn't feel like it's thriving. Feels ghostly. I don't like that lady. She's not a nice mom. You see a set of tattered curtains blocking the way to another room. A strange cage-like trinket dangles from- Excuse me, officer. The back room is strictly for employees only. Examine the cage-like trinket? You see some kind of charm. An irregular polyhedron assembled from bones, sticks, and straw. Inside, a disturbing fish head with empty eye sockets. What the fudge? What? 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 What is that doing in the bookstore? This is a traditional Seminese ward, meant to provide protection against ill or the Seminese. of Ile de Fantôme. Okay. Aside from poking at it suspiciously, there is nothing else to do with the fish head charm. Nothing. Now please go back to browsing the books. Don't you feel compelled to look at the books? She speaks almost as if she's trying to put a spell on you. Oddly enough, the more she tries to draw you away from the curtains, the more alluring they become. Ignore the curtains for now, pull open the curtains. We'll leave them for now. Let's look at everything before we try to pull open the curtains. These shelves are overburdened with books from the same series. You see the name Dick Mullen. What's Over all this crime oh, fiction? Crime, robberies, murders, even sexual crimes. We're fortunate to have Dick Mullen and his stories to sort all that. You're a a police officer, apparently. You should buy all of these. They really do teach a person. Crime fiction is a disgrace. An asinine misrepresentation of the physical attributes of the arduous everyday work of actual police officers. Accurate. These books greatly overstate the excitement of police work. True. Also, what's more, they completely ignore the psychological hardships of year after year coming into contact with true them. not a single mention of all the stress this work creates upon the officer's family detective fiction just doesn't tell the truth at all now would you like a list of all the books found on the shelf oh god no shelves filled to the brim with crime novels featuring the supposed yeah i think we're good plaque on the shelf reads biographies of famous people you browsing through all the books with all their names suddenly a particularly odd title catches your eye it reads high speed love the tragic truth high speed love chronicles the romance between two of the finest tip-top tournay races in history next to earth's life story you see a slim biography of an occidental rock next to that river Sholian i'm reading in my head so it's I'm, I'm reading a bit faster than the voiceover in front of a rundown drug den. i really must insist you buy one of the books reading them is not for free do you still browse oh my gosh she's so annoying you are browsing I hate 
shopkeepers like this who hover over you and are like, Can I help you with anything? Like, my social anxiety is like, no, leave me alone. I'm browsing, damn it. The alcove. The maps look old and faded. Your eye catches a map. This large map displays archipelagos. You see a Ozon, Laurenti, Fas Alamir, archipelagos, disintegrating into mathematics. In the northeast, a dust mite stands on the north coast of Kai in a bookstore. It's Can you see the cities on the islands? On Kai, River Shop, a single black star lost little pearls of light. 850 million people live on these little dots. An oceanic world of color. The ocean breaks apart into a tangle of coasts. Oh my gosh, it's really coming down. The rain. Into connections to other worlds. Words past the Insulindian, unknown to you. You only know you've never been there. Okay, we have never been to past Insulindian. You have little idea what they are. Distant stars, perhaps they are gods. Gods of distance and outer dust. Can I buy the maps? Sounds like a weird washing machine. Yeah, there's like a thunderstorm going outside, going on outside right now. Uh, I'm sorry if my mic is uh, picking up on that. Cause yeah, my my desk is like right in front of the windows. Okay, there is a lot of dialogue slash uh inner inner monologue to go through here, but it is like 1 a.m. and I do need to go to sleep. So I think I'm just going to clear up this map stuff, and then we're going to save, and then we're going to have to pick it up next time. Because we got work tomorrow, darn the it, unfortunately. The Verdant Island is shattered by the delta of a river. It is the River Esperance. Countless bridges put the shard to the east, rolling hillsides. Le Jardin, Stella Marie, the suburbs of San Baptiste, swallowed up into the megacy. Crudo. It's somewhere to live. I will not but remember bad. all of these then names. I'm terrible at geography. Bad. People shouldn't live there, but they do. Then Forberg. It's almost as bad. It's so small you can't even see it on the map. North of no, Jamrock. Wait. There it is. North of Jamrock. The strip of coast next to the Greater Rivershall Industrial Harbor. It looks downright despondent. No, this is somewhere to be. This is all you have. But it's still something. It's uh, something when else do I much. stream? This is fun to watch. Oh, well, thank you so much, Mischief. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, so I, I try to stream twice a week. Work and other stuff just keeps me really, really busy. Uh, I stream art once a week and um, game once a week. So I, I usually stream Thursday to Sunday, two of those days. Uh, it's just dependent on my schedule for the weekend. Because uh, sometimes I'm just straight up not available on weekends. But almost always I stream 9 p.m. EST until like 1 a.m. ish. So uh, let me just check my calendar for the coming week. Oh, okay. So uh, I have a holiday on Friday and the coming Monday. So luckily we'll have more time to stream this coming weekend. Uh, okay, so I think it's safe to say I can stream Friday night. The coming week. Uh, the weekend is still up in the air. I'm not sure what my plans are. So, uh, yeah, tentatively, I'm gonna say I will stream Friday night. I'm not sure if we're gonna do gamer art. We us I usually just decide on the day of. Uh, the best way to, to keep up with when I'm going to stream is to actually just follow me on Instagram, if anything. Uh, on Instagram, I usually post in my stories the day of, if I know for sure I have time to stream. So yeah, like on my stories, you can just click on that, and then I usually say, Art stream, 9pm EST, or game stream, 9pm EST. Or I try to keep my Twitch schedule up to date weekly, so I will change my schedule on my Twitch page, depending on what I know about the week, but it's it's all it's always at 9 p.m. EST, pretty much. So definitely Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's up in the air, or I might shift to Thursday if my weekend gets really busy. I'm sorry I can't give you like a firm answer, that's just how I handle it with my schedule. It's not really a map, it's a tourist thing. 
a picture postcard with buildings on it. I'm so glad you're interested, though. Thank you. A date in the still. It's detailed. Could be pretty useful for scouting ahead. You see the jagged boxes of an industrial harbor. Even the whirling in rats there. I'm sorry, officer. The map of Martinez is the only one available. The other two are not for sale anymore. They're quite valuable, though they might not look it. The map of Martinez is 90 cents, though. Why is the one of Martinez? You seem to underestimate my resources, but sure, okay. Let's not say that. That old thing. It's an out-of-date map of a tourist location that never was nor came to be. From when some design studio people tried to spruce the place up. Gentrification! Renovated the four statue, set up those coin-operated viewers, and designed the new street lamps. The place does not look like a successful tourist trap. What happened? Get that far, for some reason. A shame the project never got going. Would be nice if someone fixed Martinez up. Steal it. I want to buy. I, yeah, this sounds really, really useful, especially for me because I'm very easily lost when I don't have a map. We can afford it. We'll, oh my gosh, steal it? No. We'll buy it. We can agree on that, Placence. You've acquired an interactable item. Investigate this item further by going to the interact tab in your inventory. Thanks, tutorial agent. Okay, let's uh interact with these last this few things. It's not strictly about crime, romance, and biographies of amidst the various books. You find one written by these three things are very important to the working class mind. The point of the book and many others on this shelf is to give people medicinal advice in situations where they don't have access to paid health services. Sounds sketchy. It serves platitudes. Extremely like sketchy. Telling everyone that traditional medicine, the kind people don't have access to and which costs more than this book, is garbage and would only give you cancer anyway, without even curing your cold or anything. Yes, I agree. Sorry, I'm just gonna... Did I set the command properly? There we go, there's my Instagram. Just to give you the convenience of a fast link so you don't have to go looking through my page. Wholeness, unity, balance, on the other hand, can basically take care of anything. Though it is important to note, when it's up to your mind to heal yourself, then it's because of your mind that you're ill in the first place. True that. Does the book the say book anything else? The book chapters on topics such as how to find magnesium, it even lists plants you can harvest. There's even a chapter on the ancient Serais tradition of using duck gall bladder preservatives to treat and prevent sexually transmitted diseases. Oh. Pre and post factum apply. This is just mundane garbage. What's even paranatural about this? Well, thanks, Inland Empire. Uh, heard about the curse. Minus one. Don't believe in curses. Find something truly otherworldly. It's a high skill check. I guess we can try it. The throbbing in your head increases with every passing moment you gaze at this. Suddenly, as if out of nowhere. <laughs> Live journal. I never had one, Miss Chief. I missed that whole phase of the internet somehow. I was on pro boards, though. I would, I would go on Nintendo pro boards and talk about Nintendo games. <laughs> Uh, a small green book. What is the pale? The book contains very little explanation on the matter. This knowledge seems to be taken for granted. The book contains descriptions of various pseudo scientific pseudo science. You've lost me already. And folk rep. For example, it recommends vigorously swatting one's naked body with a venic or hand broom. Sounds it painful. It is supposedly invigorating and good for the circulation. It also recommends consuming distilled spirits like vodka or whiskey that have been aged in the pale. Readers are instructed to cover What does this do? Benefits. It is alleged to restore a damaged Oh, it sounds like something that could help me. That seems improbable. I should probably get my hands on some of that. What else is in there? How is that possible? I think I've heard it. How is that possible? Is it any more improbable than anything else that human beings put their faith in? Fair enough. What else is in there? Readers are encouraged to take regular strolls through the pal. 
These strolls promise to cleanse the mind of worries and the body of toxins. This, this is exactly what you need. Anything else of note? There's an entire section devoted to cures for men who are struggling to perform their marital obligations. Uh, I'm, I, am I married? I'm probably not married. Oh, I have an ex-wife, that's right. The, the reptilian brain said I have an ex-wife, so I probably don't need that. And return it to its place on the shelf. I want to buy medicinal purposes. Okay, we're too, we're too poor. Another boring book just discarded here. Cool. Volition, Inland Empire. Hunches and gut feelings, I see. Suggestion. Drugs. I have to like review all of these skill charts because I keep forgetting what um what some of these mean. Interact. Oh. Y is to oops! I pressed the wrong button. Yeah, so I'm playing with a switch controller, so when it says Y, I actually have to press X on my switch controller. It's a little Four bit confusing. Features the patchwork grid of the streets of Martinez, with directions to appropriately touristy locations. Year 48 resides on the upper right corner. Trace a path through Your the grid. moves through the various streets, finally coming to a halt. For a more detailed view of the map, Go to your journal and select the map tab. Thanks, tutorial agent. Journal? This? Map. Oh, very nice. Cool. Cool. Oh, okay, you can keep track of various NPCs this way. Nice. These are found white checks. Those on white are available to try now. Oh, this is cool. I'm, I'm glad they do this because I otherwise I would absolutely forget everything. I'm glad that there is a list to keep track for me. Okay, we're gonna quick save. Or, uh, I don't know, save game. Oh, okay, this is, um, all of your save data. Okay, save. A Venic is an actual thing in Russia. You can click on info to read even more on the skills. Yeah, I feel like I need to like study this. Like I need like a non-spoiler study guide for this game or something the next time I come back to it because oh my gosh, my brain is overwhelmed with content <laughs> right now. Okay. I'm doing well. Oh, thank you, Mischief. That's so reassuring. I have no idea what I'm doing. I absolutely have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just doing what's easiest for me as a first timer, you know? The one thing that will get you is the skill cap. What? There's a skill cap? Well, I'm sure the game is gonna show me later. <laughs> Your physical starts are mask or max one. Oh, that's because of how I allocated my skill points at the beginning possibly this is what i signed up for it it probably it it'll it will all make sense because this is me my physical is maxed at one i'll have to find ways around that well that's that's the appeal of this kind of game i suppose I, i'm guessing a lot of people probably didn't do physical, like, super low physical stats, but this is what I signed up for. It's all my fault. Only I am to blame. Okay. Um, let me just see if uh, anyone is online for a raid. High mental stats are the most fun. Excellent! I've set myself up for optimal fun. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew that uh, trying to replicate myself would be the fun option? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just like, I am trying to immerse myself in the game, so I find like any kind of physical violence is going to be deeply uncomfortable. 
extremely uncomfortable. Oh man. Okay, no one I know is really online right now. Um, and I don't really want to raid the Disco Elysium category in case I get spoiled. We don't want that happening to us. Um, so, maybe we can just raid someone doing art. Because I follow- I, most of my follow list is just other artists slash some other game streamers. Okay, let's say hi to Cypertree. It's been a while since I've hung out in their stream. They are they-them pronouns. But what is art? I can't answer that question, Mischief, despite being a quote-unquote artist for a living. I just model theme parks and buildings. <laughs> okay, okay. Thanks so much, everyone, for hanging out with us. Uh, yeah, check back on my Twitch schedule, follow me on Instagram to see when I'm gonna stream next. We're gonna be playing this game for a really long time, I can feel it. But yeah, I, I basically I stick to one game until I finish it in terms of game stream, so we're gonna be on Disco Elysium for a really long time. Okay. Say hi to Cypertree. Have a good night, all. Thanks so much for hanging out. See you next time.